Hello and welcome to, well, another game night. Tonight, I'll be your DM and today we are going to do a one-shot. With me tonight, we have uh, Vincent Morp. Uh, who will you be playing? I'll be playing as Huffing Alright. And um, Carl? I will playing. I'll be playing as John, the High Elf. <laughs> the High Great. Elf. <laughs> All righty then, Camille. I will be playing Kamiru, the Wandering Samurai. Kamiru, the Wandering Samurai. Uh, he says he's a monk, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All righty then. Also, Chen Chen. This is uh, the easiest way to flavor a samurai. <laughs> True. Chen Chen, what about you? I'm gonna. I'm gonna play. Takmadi. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, um, who, who who is uh, Sukmadi? Uh, Sukmadi is actually a, a paladin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> does he have any oaths? Oh, he has a, a great oh. Um, he has the oath of a glory hole. Mmm, I see. <laughs> this is what happens when you allow players to have joke characters. <laughs> <clears throat> Alrighty then, so... <clears throat> uh, let's start the game proper with, um, with, with a backstory, or well, with, with a slight backstory. So, after the Duchess of Dagafort established trade with Karatur, Dagafort prospered in its economy and trade. With its found new wealth, reports of highway robbery and missing people have increased. The law of the, uh, the law of the town, Commander Lenave, has requested willing adventurers to go and investigate the tradeways, uh, tradeway roads to find and stop the perpetrators. So, <clears throat> I'm just going to set the setting around the. Uh, fields, field, uh, the, the training ground. I forgot the name. <laughs> uh, field, fields lane was it? Anybody remember? Forgot it. Forgot about it. Never mind. I have. I will. Ibaira. Oh. Uh, drills field. So, all of you, <laughs> um, gathered to the drills field because well, you want cash and you need adventuring, and. Let's start with Chen, or <clears throat> sorry, uh, let's start with you, Sukma. Okay. Do you want to say the, the full name? No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> so you're on the drills field. What are you doing? Um, currently I'll, I'll be wo wo currently walking and watching around. Mm -hmm. As I am actually a war forge, so I'll be like scouting around as I'm also a part of the city watch itself. All right, and while you're walking around and looking around, do you um, draw a perception for me, please? How do you, how do you roll using the how do you roll it? How do you roll it? Just click on anything that you want and then you will appear. Okay, give me a second. So make sure to click the one that with the boxes. That is the... Yep. Ah, Alright, that's high enough. Alright. While looking around, you see a very particular or peculiar character. He, he doesn't seem to be local of this realm. Like, he... He dressed strange. And with that, uh, Karumi, would you like to describe how you look? Hello? Hello? Yeah, yeah. Karumi, describe hey. yourself. Ah! Oh, my turn. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm about to... Gonna claw about wife. Pergi beli makan. Oh, but anyways, no. uh, 
imagine I gam like a samurai pakai baju kain uh, baju kain samurai rambut panjang ada katana satu uh, <laughs> yeah, no cross cut or cross my cheek ah uh, that's about it <laughs> okay okay uh, wanted to do some role playing but hey, it's okay it's okay um while suka sukma sukma sees this um a halfling comes by and taps you on the knee oh Uh, Mitch? Hey, friend. Do you got any jobs here around here? You can see a uh, quite rough half leg, and you can see a bit of uh, some sort of mu start um, something that is not very common for half leg because you can see there's a scar on his face and then the eyes is quite like terlalu banyak something to drink <laughs> of the side effect Chen? Oh, I mean, Sukma? No, actually, oh, I, th- I didn't hear that actually. Uh, yeah. Got any jobs around here? Oh, uh, currently no. Uh, actually, I'm waiting for the commander to give any order at the moment. Hmm. Is there any notable nobles around this place? Oh, there's a lot, and there's a few people that you need to know. Uh, such as the Duchess, and also Lady Emilia, and also there we have our lot commander Lenever. I see. All right. While you guys are having this conversation, there's this very particular smell. Not nothing native, but it's the smell is a bit pungent and it's very strange. And when you turn to look, you see an elf. Oof. Hello, boys. Hello, man. Ah. Oh. Are you guys here with Commander Laniver too? <sighs> Wanna smoke, my friend? We war forge don't smoke. We suck. <laughs> <coughs> oh, you are better, bro. That's totally red. I'll suck some of this. I'll move closer a bit to it. Uh, the the one yeah, the one that is high oh, and. I'll try to snatch some coins. <laughs> Alrighty then. Um, I'll say um, side of hand versus perception. Seventeen. Alright. Sixteen. Alright. So, well, as. Mitch, reach, you know, uh, go closer to the high elf. Um, kind of s- quickly nap something in the pockets. John, how much do you? Sorry, I I have your stats, so I should look here. Yes, but I don't keep my gold in my pocket. Ah. Yeah, guess what you get in my pocket. Alright, so... Uh, roll a... Let me see how many items you have in your pocket. So <laughs> right. Yeah, but the thing is, I don't keep them in my pocket. I keep something else in the pocket. <laughs> you know what it is? <laughs> what, 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 what is uh, it? <laughs> you know in the end beyond, you can segregate which way, uh, which item go to where. Uh... Oh, really? I didn't know. Yep. Uh, Yeah, uh, but basically, basically, all, all I'm a my character is you no, know, is a druid and he's a hermit. <laughs> so in his pocket will be well mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then. So um, Ooh, nice get. you you get one mushroom, I guess. Three mushrooms. Nom 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 nom. Alright, so <clears throat> as... you like mushroom Morbius? Morbius? Sorry, not Morbius. What was the new character? Mitch. 
Mitch, Mitch, would you like to eat the mushroom? Uh, the thing is, does he notice that I snatched something? No, not really, because um, he noticed something moving in the pocket, but doesn't really matter because he knows that he doesn't have much uh, of value. For, for me, for me, mm-hmm. personally, sharing is caring. You want mushrooms? You want to take it, man. Yeah. So so yeah. Uh, he, he does he does do it, but doesn't tell you. <laughs> so anyway, while this is going on, suddenly you hear a loud barking, right? And you see a tall man in full armor without the helmet, and you see Commander Lenever barking all those around and stuff. <clears throat> he just walks out and ah we. We're having problems here with the new gate that just opened. Ah, where are those? Ass- where are those assholes? Who are you for? Hmm. Just on. looking for job. Sorry. Taking my spoke. Ah, oh, I'm here for the job, Lanimer. You called me here, remember? I. Yeah, gold job, mushrooms, woman, and glory. Yeah. So, look, my friend, I like your style. Hmm, the job I say. And Lenever looks at a bunch of you. He looks at, well, uh, Suka and sees, okay, not bad. He looks at Mitch. Hmm, alright. Uh, raising, uh, raising my hood to the, keeping a low profile. Yeah, but. Um, you you kind of stuck uh, stand out like a sore thumb in this area. <laughs> yeah. So uh, like, hmm, okay, uh, potential maybe. Looking at uh, Kamiru. Hmm. All right. Um, wasn't what I expecting. And John. Uh, another one of this. Oh boys. Oh, right. anywho. So I'm guessing you all took the note from Jagger Forden. All right. Cool. So, long story short, we have been re- reports that a lot of highway robberies, missing peoples and whatnot. I want you lot to go and uh, track the roads and see what you find. By the way, um, who here has the highest in history? Um, in terms of uh, bonus or what? Uh, just uh, history bonus and whatnot, like uh, any bonuses and whatnot. I got history bonus four. Plus four. Um, anybody else? Nope. Nah. Nope. Uh-uh. And plus one. Plus one. All right, Mitch. Um, could you do a roll for me, please, for uh, history? Yeah. Sure. Is it pertaining about anything about a uh, creature or anything or just something? General for dagger four. Okay, so I don't have the advantage for that. No, uh, just uh plus the, the plus four then. Uh, baby. Nice, not bad. So, as you hear the uh, commander say all this, you do wonder to yourself, wait, didn't they have adventurers here before uh, called the Midnight Hunters and whatnot? And it's... He knows it. Kind of, yeah. So, it's on the tip of your tongue. And, well, it's up to you if you want to ask the commander or not. But, yes, it's up to you. Uh, Commander, I have a question. What is it, short one? Uh, don't you guys have this so-called warden, the Midnight Hunters, that does around this quest? What happened to them? Them? Uh, it's been almost a week and we haven't seen them around. Like, we know that things are going bad, but they never left anything. They haven't said anything. So, we're short-handed right now. And... Well, if you want to quote unquote replace them, show your worth. Mm, I see, I see. All right. So anyway, reward will be hundred goals each for you all, and a place to stay. Anyway, get going. And with that, uh, he heads back to whatever he was doing, and you guys towards the, well, road, uh, more 
towards the <clears throat> uh, Trader's Way from Regafort walking towards uh, the way in. <clears throat> so as you go out of the Regafort, you notice uh, the caravan grounds have a lot of military. Uh, make sure you know that the town recently asked for some military uh, backup in the form of the um, uh, what was it again? In, in the form of <laughs> yes, them, and well, uh, you pay no mind because they see the bastard or yes the what we call again uh, uh, the Lord of Esther was it? Uh, the, order. The, order, the Order of Esther yes, the Order of Esther so yeah you, you see them but you pay no mind because well you, you don't want to mess with them because they seem to be a ragtag bunch of um, military guys so that's bad news for you guys if you want to well, kind of screw around with them so anywho you head towards the road, checking the environment around. And you don't see really nothing much because it's, well, kind of clear. Like, by this point, you guys are probably wondering, like, wait, it could be the Midnight Hunters. They got wind of this and they kind of checked things out before um, telling Lenever or whatever it is. And... As you guys walk, the ground under, under your feet shakes and crumbles. And, well, you guys are... Oh my god! And you guys are in a trap hole. Oh no! Is it deep or no? Uh, I'll just say that it's deep, but nothing um, worthy to make damage of you guys. Even for a half day. Yeah, but still, you, you guys fall. Alright. <clears throat> so, anywho. A few hours pass by, and you wake up in the... The back of a wagon. No, actually, you wake up in a cave. Kind of a cave. So... <sighs> <clears throat> yeah, you guys wake up in a cave. And I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to roleplay for a bit. Am I tied up? Nope. Oh, bro, what happened? Is the earth falling down? Oh, what happened, man? It's. Is it dark? Yes, a few hours have passed by since you fell. Can I assume that I have prepared a mutagen before all this happens? Yes, let's just say that, let's just say that. Alright, I'll use this first. I will make a consume a mutagen that is called Night Eyes. So I'll gain a uh, dark vision. Uh, Alright. <clears throat> so what can I see? Well... In the cave, you see some rubbles from the ground, sorry, from the, well, ground slash ceiling, and you see a cart, <coughs> and you see a door to the south of this, well, map. Also, your companions, who are in various states of confusion, Is our equipment still attached to us? Why don't you check? I'll try to check it. <laughs> right. As you check, everything's there. Alright. So we're not thinking that as our equipment is still attached. Hey guys, wants to, to check what is happening? There's a door right down there. Create a bonfire <laughs> uh, in the middle. But 
I will fuck up with my night vision. Do you need to see where, like, where is like, there any hole that we fall down from? Where is it? Could you repeat that again, please? Suka, could you repeat that, please? No, do, 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 does, does, do I see where we've fallen from? Like, um, is there any gaping hole? Yes, uh, you look up and you see there's a hole on the ceiling, which is what's the ground. And could you do an investigation roll, please? <laughs> what do we get? By the way, the description for my uh, concoction that I just drank. Ah, alright. Wait, don't, don't Huffling have already nope. night vision? Uh, Huffling does not have dark vision. Ah, alright. So... Let's see, investigation, ah, nine. <clears throat> Alright, mm, yes, you, you see a hole in the ceiling and that's about it. Uh, you, you, you deduce that somebody dug a hole and you fell through it. Yes. Huh. <clears throat> so, anywho. What do you guys do? Mm. Hey guys, you can see the hole. It's huge, man. How do we get out? Guys? I know we cannot climb that door. Oh, wait, look, there's a door here. Is that a door? And I walk, walk towards the exit, I guess. Seems like it. Anybody want to do a perception roll? I'll do an investigation roll on the door to check whether it's locked or trapped of some kind. Alright, uh, but before that, can... You know what, uh, everybody do a perception roll, please? You did it already, previously. So I, I do it again. Um, you did, what was that for again? Uh, just to check my surroundings. Ah, alright. Well, sorry about that. Uh, okay. So, May I just do it? Should I do it again? Nah, because I, uh, you, you didn't tell me uh, why. But anyway, uh, yes. Sorry about that. Um, John, you hear mufflings. You hear mufflings around the location of the cart. Do you go and investigate? Or do you just leave it be? But anywho, uh, while you ponder on what to do... You ponder. Uh, Mitch, you say you were investigating the door? Yep. I'll investigate whether it's locked or there's any trap. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna check the muffling, the muffled thing. Uh, and it's a bad one. Ah, okay, no problem, no problem. Uh, yeah, you, I got to muffle, muffle cart. <laughs> Alright, you, you, you head to the muffle cart and you notice a person underneath it. I... What, how, how, what, what, okay, how, how is the person? Uh, the person is male, uh, probably around his late 30s. He looks scared. And uh, notice you guys and hide under the cart. Is he is he gagged or something? Oh no, he's alive. Oh, I pull him out. Hey, bro, what you doing there? Oh, oh, oh uh, you, you guys are here to take me, right? Take you where? Oh man, there's these crazy people. They've been taking a lot of people. Uh, I've been hiding here for almost two days now. And, uh, I, I don't know, they're, they're crazy cultists. Oh man, bro, 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 relax man, relax. You look bad. Here, have some of this mushroom. Mushroom? It'll help you a lot. Um, are they cooked? 
they, they, they are good even if they are raw. It tastes very nice. Trust me, my friend. Oh, oh. I, I guess. And with that, um, the guy takes the... Uh, <clears throat> where's my die here? Odd. Where? Hmm. That is odd. I don't have my die. Oh, okay. Um, Alright. Uh, and with that, the person took a bit of the mushroom and ate it. It wasn't in the um, what you call this? Uh, it wasn't in the uh, huh? Yeah, it, it's not in the mind page, that which is strange. The GM's page. Oh, but should I start game? Wow, my campaign. Give me a second. Uh, I'm trying and I. I'm not getting my answers. That's very strange. That's not fun. <coughs> uh, give me a second. Yes, yes, yes. You can paint content. Uh, okay, give me a second. Uh, I'm just very puzzled by why I don't have a die to content sharing has been enabled. Content manager game log. Okay, game log there is. Lock it. And yay, uh, no die for me. That's strange. Odd. How does a GM do stuff? Does that mean I need to go to my own thing? No. Huh. Odd. Well, well, in this case, we can always use an online dice roll roller. No, I have my own thing, but I just want everybody to see what I roll. But you're not on the pitch. Yeah, that's the thing. What, do I need to create my own character? Strange. I don't think so. I don't know. But anywho, um, with that, I'm just going to do a constitution saving roll for Mitch. For me? Sorry, uh, no, for the um, commoner. Okay, um, right. <clears throat> so anyway, um, do you... John, do you keep talking to the commoner? Of course, of course. So I'm uh, feeling better, bro. Um, I don't know, uh, they were a bit bland, but still. Um, so anywho, um, are, are you guys here to save me? Hmm, you can say that we fell from the sky. Oh no. And I point, point with the hole. Oh no, not you too. Whoa, whoa, what do you mean by that, my friend? Like, this cultist has been setting traps for, uh, people who are just walking the... Uh, tradeways, and it seems that you've been caught in the trap too. Well, you know what they say, the only way to get out of the trap is to break it. Who says that? Well, anyway, um, I, I'm, I was too afraid to explore the place, but may maybe you guys have better luck. Hmm. I try to open the door, I guess. The, the trap door. The trap door. So, <clears throat> as you head towards the door, you see, well, a, a regular door, really. So, you push it? Shall we push it open? Alright, go ahead. Push it. So, as you push it, you see, well, technically, more of a passageway. Uh, it's heading down to the, uh, down and to the east of the map's location. And, okay. And in front of it, there's another door. Okay. Let's, let's go. But hey, guys, look, the door's open. It's not even locked. So that's the first one. Huh. Right. So that was the first door? That was the first door, yeah, let's open it. Alright, so you guys open it, and like I mentioned before, uh, it goes to like an L shape towards the east. Yeah, let's go. And in front of it, there's another door. Well, open the other door as well. You sure? Yep. Alright, you then? Cautiously follow the punch. So as you walk in, 
you open well this is a very small map give me a second so marching order John, John should be the first because he's opening the door right who's second I guess I uh, could be in the middle but someone else can stand within my space because I have uh, half limitless I can stand within someone else space as well all right so Suka you gonna uh, flank John yeah why not I'm gonna flank John all right and yeah. Kurami will be taking care of the rear <clears throat> So as you open the door, mm -hmm, as you open the door, you see four people in hoods. Oh, this guy is cool. And yep, uh, most of them are deaf because they're dumb. I drew a net one, so they don't really notice the noise. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the cultist, uh, the cultist C4 noticed like, hey, there's somebody there. Um, roll for initiative, please. Right. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. <clears throat> Wait, press the initiative button. Uh, oh, that is it. Yeah. So let's see. Why not? Whoa. Oh, nice. Right encounter. Uh, right ah. So initiative. 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 Oh, oh Mitch. Oh, wow. Mitch doesn't have picture. That's why I was confused. Right. I don't have any pictures. Uh, oh. oh, no, yeah, you do. You do. Okay, sorry, my bad. Uh, mm -hmm. Mitch roll a 10. John roll a 7. Suka is a 22. Give me a second. Oh, oh, it automatically keys in here. Wow. Awesome. Yep, yep. Uh, roll auto initiative. <clears throat> All right. Wow. Oh, this is the bandit's story quest. Oh, my bad. Sorry. Sorry, that was a test fight. All right, my bad. My bad. Sorry, sorry. Uh, yes. This one, this is the one, and I'm guessing right encounter initiative. I think. Oh no, ah, my bad. Okay, I'll just key in. So, uh, John, what were you? What was your number again? Seven, uh, if I'm mistaken. Seven, unfortunately. Seven, seven. Kurami, he haven't ruled yet. All right, uh, Suka, 22, was it? Yep, 22. Mitch? 10. 10. And uh, Kurami hasn't done anything right. Yep. I think he's busy. Alright, so I'm going to leave Kurami behind then. <clears throat> okay, let's start. So, Suka, you're high enough you're your first to go and yes John is in front of you so what did you do I'm gonna uh, okay oh, John is in front of me can I shove him to the side and rush in sure. um, I don't think you can I'll say that uh, to move him aside or to trade places with him that will take half your movement. Oh, yeah, it, it, it should be possible because it's five feet. Five feet is quite, quite, quite wide enough. Like, for the rules, it's too wide, no. Okay, I have a better idea. I'm gonna shove John. <laughs> okay, so that's right. an action. Inwards and push him again. So, so wait, you're gonna shove John into the cultist, and does it? I hear your attention. Yeah, you're breaking up.
Let's change it. Can't hear you. Yeah, you were saying. Okay. Now, okay. I was saying, can I shove John? Mm-hmm. Okay. Push him towards C one. Uh, yes, you can. So what shall mm-hmm. I roll for that? Um, just a base strength test. Yeah, no worry. You should automatically pass. You just need to make sure the C one cannot cannot withstand it. I will willingly let you push me in front. Okay, willingly. All right. <laughs> willingly. So basically, you auto you auto get. Do the sharp action. Uh, that's just an act. Uh, I'm just going to rule it as uh, that's an action, and just do base strength. Yep. Okay, I know it. Oh, Kurami's 20. Uh, Using the attack action, you can make a special melee attack to shove a creature, either to knock it prone or push it away from the world. If you are able to make multiple attacks with the attack action. Trying, I guess. So it's not sang strip then? Okay. Flat strength. Strength 10, 20. Alright. Boom. And with that, you manage to push uh, John into the cultist. So, John, um, as a reaction, would you like to do anything? I do let him push me. Okay, yeah, but you want to do anything? I will launch myself towards the guy, okay. towards the cult in front of me. Like, oh! <laughs> All right. Um, so as you do, uh, could you roll and uh, just a basic attack, attack and see what what happens? Just roll d twenty. I can't, I can't roll d twenty on this one, right? Uh, you can do it. Yes, you can. You can. That's a there's a blue over. On blue the, circle. On, like. Yeah. Then, uh, oh, okay. Got it. Seven. So, no bonus. That's oh, right. Um, what's your attack bonus? My uh, proficiency, is it? Yeah. Do you, do you have any uh, bonus on to attack? With yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I get plus. Yeah, proficiency should be plus two. Nine. All right, cool. <clears throat> so anyway, with that, um, you put uh, uh, Sukuma pushes you towards or shoves you violently towards the cultist, but the cultist notices this and steps aside. As yeah, as he saw this, he's just gonna take a reaction and just oh no, and you're in front now. So, Suka, you have uh, movements. What do you want to do? Where shall I move? I'm just going to move one space in front. One space in front, eh? Yep. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Alrighty then. And with that, uh, we're going to move the turn to uh, the cultist one. So, he sees John flying in, move to the side, and just wonders, what is this person trying to do? And he thinking to himself, ah, a body is just a body, uh, more body for the uh, leader, and tries to hit you with... Uh, give a second, he tries to just... Yeah, just attacks you with his scimitar. And unfortunately for him, as he swings, John's nimbleness uh, evades, uh, eludes him, and he accidentally steps his foot, taking one point of damage. Oh, what the- <laughs> What happened? That oh, one. 
<laughs> he rolled a net one, is it? Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm not even gonna ask uh, John's AC. That was just humiliating. Uh, so, as he accidentally steps his foot, he goes ow, 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 and move on to the next person. Uh, next person is Kurami. Then it will be AFK for Mumba. Alright. Um, I'm gonna guess... I'm gonna guess he is going to meditate for a bit. And alright, I'm going to move to the next person. So, Cultist 2 is in action. He is going to jump on the table. And... Yeah. Let's go. Acrobatic roll. That is it. <laughs> All right. Let's go for it. Um, acrobatic roll. Um, that would be. He doesn't have anything. All right. So acrobatic roll. Bonus plus. Right. So roll the twenty. Let's see what he does. Four one, please. Fell off four off the table. Fourteen. So okay. he jumps onto the table, but you can clearly see that he's too old for this. Aha. Who, you guys, how dare you sneak, at, uh, sneak up on us and attack us. And he takes his scimitar and tries to whack John. A 19, does it hit? Yep, it hit, it hit. Alright, time for damage and see what it goes. Oh boy, 6. Damage, yes. that's painful. So, he jumps onto the table, takes out his scimitar, and slashes you for 6 points of slashing damage. And with that, he pro um, he laughs, haha, -ha, and moves on to the next person, which is Mitch. Alright, I'm gonna head up into the same space as Sukwa. Okay. So I have half an illness in that space. Then I'm gonna use my bonus action mm -hmm. to evoke my crimson right. All right. So I'll roll for one d four. Just as I activate it, I receive one d four damage first. All right. Oh, oh, damage by. Oh wow, max. That's not fun, but still. Alright, now all my damage has a wonderful lightning damage with it. With it. Oh, so that's how it works. Yep. So the and more that... damage you have, the more damage later you get. Yep. Nice. The one. So, what do you do next? I to jab it. You jab your dagger? No, a rapier. Rapier, oh. Okay. To hit on this one. Okay, so you swing, uh, you swing your... Does it hit? So, as you, well, poke your dagger towards this one, it's kind of a hard angle because you have uh, Sukuma and John in the way, but you managed to hit him. Being a happy ma, then roll for damage. Uh -huh. So a total of 11 damage, plus 1d4 of lightning damage. Uh, so, uh, how do you want to do it? Oi. So basically, I just poke it with my rapier, and then the lightning starts to search the cultist, and he got electrified to death. Oh no! So that, how much was it again? Uh, total of uh, twelve. What? Uh, Eleven piercing plus one lightning. And yes, cultist, cultist one is dead. So I'm just going to remove him from the board. All right. That was fast, man. 
Level 3, ma. Level 3, also, these are your introduction fight. Like, I'm not gonna TPK on the first encounter. I'm not that mean. Uh oh, okay. So, and then, uh, I still have another 15 movement. Right? Yep, mm hmm. Uh, I'll see where I am. That's the case. Alrighty then. So, moving on to the next person. Uh, that's called this number 4. So, he sees his friend get fried. And he's thinking, oh no, that's not good. That's not good at all. <clears throat> so he will move towards um, uh, here next to John and try to attack you, Mitch, because he seems that you are the threat. Like you, you're, you're the you're, you're the big man, but <laughs> not really. So he'll try and swing at you for a total of 15. Does it hit? Nyam nyam Oh, okay. So, um, with that impossible angle, he still manages to hit you for a total of... You gotta be kidding me. 7 points of slashing damage. 7 is it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, two. oh I, can. I see. I need to select. Ah, never mind. And with that, he proclaims victory before it even ends, and passes the turn to John, who's seeing all of this and just thinking, Whoa, man, this is high. Man, that hurts. That hurts, man. I'm not cool. Not cool, y'all. And I cast... The guy, he will cast Born Fire on the guy standing on the table. Me too. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. Yep. Born Fire doesn't have any attacks, right? Nope, nope. Just roll. Deck save. My new. Deck save against my, uh... Yeah, I think it is 13. 8 plus 2 plus 3, 13, yeah. DC 13. DC 13 to avoid getting burned? Yep. Tech save. So this is on cultist number 2? Yep, number 2. Alright. So... <clears throat> uh, cultist 2 will try and avoid that very particular attack. And fails. Oh no, like... He was looking at his friend, cultist number 4, who was just celebrating. And like, yeah, it's also celebrating too, and fails to notice that you were casting bonfire on the table, which is already odd. So, uh, how many points of damage did you receive? Automate. Automate. I'm just going to check. Bond damage. Deck. This weapon, the damage should be the dice roll plus your uh, dex modifier, right? Yes. No added for proficiency or whatsoever. I think if you're proficiency, uh, proficient with uh, certain weapons, like uh, uh, with, with certain weapons, you do get the proficiency bonus. <laughs> on the attack roll, not the damage, right? Yes. No, not, not, not the damage. Only on the attack. I have dueling, that's why my uh, uh, my damage also rise up as a uh, lot of the frequency. Ah, uh, alright. No problem then. It's a special feature of your character? Uh, dueling ma. Uh, ni, apa nama ni, the fighting style. Yeah, maybe maybe it's of your ability because yeah, the D&D &D beyond usually quite, quite, quite accurate. Yeah, already calculated. Mm -hmm. just want to check. Alright. So anywho, um, what do you do, John? That was a bonus action or an action? That was an action. I just got to stand there. I don't want to get hit again, unfortunately. Uh, Until someone shoves me over. Move away, John. Move away. <laughs> I, I can't. Well, if I, you need to push me away. Shove me away. Shove me to, to the back. <laughs> Alright, so anywho, um, you're done? I'm done. I can't, I can't do anything. I need, can I need cast bonfire? Alright, so it's now number three's turn. So... Seeing all of this, he's like, oh man, like, um, I, I don't have uh, no choice. And swings 
the uh, sword towards um, towards you, John. The Oh, come on. Well, technically, you're the only person there that he can do it. Bring it, bitch. For a total of nine. Does he hit? Nope. I'm armor class is 16. Ah, so he swings the his scimitar towards you and misses. Uh, mumbling and saying stuff like, Oh, this is bad. Like, rah, rah, rah. But anywho, I'm um, going go next. And Suka, your turn. Suka, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. So... You can, you can push me away, I guess. Or you can move to, uh, to, an, to, uh, to another place. Don't waste your attack. Yeah. Move, we can just move move to another the diagonally, right? Just move. Oh, fine. I'm gonna move to behind number two. So you're gonna move to number two behind, so uh, towards the east. Yep. Alright, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, sorry, my bad. Um, <laughs> this is uh, so used to be on. Alright, normally, um, moving like this, sorry, uh, this. He, he only evokes attacks of opportunity on C4. Yeah, but normally that would be the case, but since this is a small uh, fighting area, uh, I'm going to ignore that. Plus, yeah. plus he's not going to take a reaction on that because there might be shenanigans coming. Plus, Mitch, Mitch, Mitch is in front, so it's quite hard, quite hard to hit. Let's, let's just say that. So, okay, uh, Suka, your character is behind C2, dancing on the, tab um, the table right now. Okay, and uh, with that, I'm gonna attack with my uh, Warhammer. Hmm. Eh, sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry, wait. wait. There's the damage. Wait. It's so weird. I know, Beyond is strange. 17. Ooh. Does he hit? Does he hit? Sorry, C2, hit like C2. Okay, it's called this too. So, you whack him with the Warhammer, and... <clears throat> what was your strength again? My strength is... Wait, where's... This is... I'm not talking about My strength is technically 15. 15 plus? Uh, 15 plus 2. 15 plus 2, oh, sorry, I just noticed something, alright, okay, okay. Uh, 15 plus 2, so that's a 17, this guy is, alright, so anywho, um, with that, you hit the guy for 7 points of damage with your Warhammer, and somehow, where do you hit him? Uh, do you hit him towards uh, your left or your right? On this to my left. To your left, alright. So you hit him so hard that you moved him towards C3. Uh, impacting his body. Um, and I'm gonna say it deals one point of damage. Let's see. <laughs> so yeah, now, now he is drop prone then. Throw yeah, on the perfect. ground and hurting real bad. And that's uh, is that your move, Zell? That's all for my move and my attack. Yeah. All right. So moving on to the next target, which would be Ku uh, Kumiru. And I'm guessing Kumiru does not. It's the meditation. Yes, he's still meditating. So, uh, we'll go to C2 then. He's hurting real bad. Like, he's hurting real bad and he takes half his movement to get up, uh, moves out of his friend's way, and tries to attack the person that hits him with the yep, hammer. Yep, what's up? Uh, well, kind of your turn, but... Hello, hello. Yeah, yeah, kind of your turn, but we um, skipped it because your character's meditating. 
Are you back, Kavir? Mm, yeah, it's okay. Alright, never mind. Um, with that, the cultist 2 will swing his scimitar towards you, Suka. For a total of 8. Does it hit? No. No. Alright. Um, with that, it goes to the next person. Mitch. Alright, let I will stay where I am try to C4 with my rapier. Alright, so you try to poke C4 with your rapier. Uh, roll please. 21. Okay, that hits. Damage, please. Damage is 8, eight. plus... Oh, oh. 1 lightning damage. Wow. So that was on C4? On C4, yeah. How would you like to do it? <laughs> Again. <laughs> My rip is like, just like a stunning rod. <laughs> like electric rod. That's jabbing and electrify people. Yeah, so as you um, step the guy, he kind of ah, shouts and you can see his skeletons for a moment and he crumbles to dust. Oh, crumbles to dust? Yep. Another one bites to dust. <laughs> so what do you do now, Mitch? And then now I will move uh, diagonally on the top in between of John and Sukma. So you're going to get onto the table then? No, no, no. On, on top of it. On top of it. So somewhere here? Yes. Alrighty then. And then I'll end my turn then. Alright. So, well, call this for you killed off. So now it's John's turn. Oh, wow. Well, oh, wow. Call this. Hmm. So left only call this three? Three and two. Alright. Two, so and... two is looking really bad. Mm. It's now you and me, baby. Count this three. Doesn't look too good now, isn't it? It's bonfire time, boy! It's bonfire an attack, really? No, it's just to make you spot the creature of whoever stands on it make a safe hole. Okay. Yeah. Bonfire, dance for me, boy. Duh. So, you, you create a bonfire and the saving throw is? Uh, 13. Dex 13. Dex 13. Yeah. All right. That's why that fails, Ooh. and he'll take one point of damage. Was it four? Four. So call this three. Uh, call this three. So he takes three point of damage. So. so four. Four. Uh, what did I press again? Da, 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 da. <clears throat> four. All right. So as you cast the bonfire, you, you tell him to dance, and he's a bit confused. Dance? Why would I want to dance? And in that confusion, he takes four points of fire damage. And now he understands why. Ouch. By the way, um, does those bonfires still uh, exist on the map, or are they gone? Oh no, it's gone. Then. And the next turn is going to take damage as well. Ah, so if he enters the round... Let me check and create both fire. Hey. I don't think so. That damage is that uh, exists right with one fire. That's why I was confused. Okay. Oh, wait. No. It's until the the spell ends. So unfortunately, it's one minute. One. Wait. One. One minute or until the turn ends. No. No. It's until the spell ends. Actually. Spell ends. So there's a fire on the table. There's a fire on C three. I don't know, the, 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 the table one disappears. The one, or the down is found on C3. So I'm just going to do this. Yeah, that, that's fire. Yeah, that, that's fire. Oh. Okay, that, that's fire there. Alright. So. <laughs> yeah, so, or it ends its turn on the fire, so yeah. yeah it needs. So, and it's turn, okay, so. Yeah. But the table's on fire now, so. <laughs> uh, you pyromancer, you. So, anywho, um. It's cultist number three's turn. 
and not wanting to be burned, um, decides to move towards uh, the, well, his left. And I believe uh, it triggers an attack of opportunity from Suka. I think so, yep. Yeah. So, do you attack or do you let it go? I'm gonna attack. I'm yeah. gonna swing my war hammer. All right. Yes, I will. I will. Ten plus two. No, no, that's a damage. That's a damage. <laughs> I know this app is killing me. And... <laughs> to hit is. <laughs> All right. So, anywho, um, as he tries to move, you swing with your war hammer, and. He goes splat and dies. Yeah, baby. So ten. One hit the glory hole. Oh god. <laughs> so um yeah, it's just called this number two now. Mm-hmm. Uh now back to Suka, your turn. The bonfire oh, uh you? perish, right? No, the bonfire is still there. I feel like right. Because it's a concentration spell. So if I end it, then it's it's gone. But is C3 still alive? Oh, sorry, my bad. I need to remove him from the map. Okay, I thought it's still. Okay, okay. But the bonfire is there. Yeah. Right. So if you end or you end your turn on it, then you'll get fired. Hmm. Alright, so now, Suka, your turn. Now I'm gonna swing again my war hammer. Okay. Yes, you did it right. So. Yes, yeah, so as you swing your hammer, the guy kind of. Manages to duck, but not out of his agility or whatnot. He he's kind of um, looking around. real bad. So do you end your turn, or do you do something with your bonus? Uh no, uh I have. What can I do with my bonus action? Uh, I'm gonna end my turn. All right, so. Uh, and the turn we head to uh Kamiro. Samurai Chan. Kamil Samurai. You here? Kamiro. Hello. Yeah yeah. Mari Mari. Yeah, let's go. Finally. I am awake. <laughs> Finally. Oh that was a good sleep. Oh that, that mushroom wake. Oh, not bad. Right? I know, right? You should eat some more. So, what do you do? So, how far is, am I from the last man standing? I think Luckily, you can manage to head towards uh, C2, but if you do try to get on the table or on the star, uh, for the table, you need to do an athletic check just because you are jumping above it. Or if you go on the star, you need to take points of damage, fire damage. Yeah, don't worry. No, don't worry. If, if Kami want to pass through it, that I'll just I'll deactivate it. I can just deactivate it at, at will anytime. It's like concentration spell. Right. Yeah, but, but it has to be on your turn, right? True. Not not necessary, right? No, no. I think yes. Uh, as a action or bonus action, I think you have to spell. Uh, if you want to dismiss the spell, you have to use an action. I will with that. So, Kamiru, what do you uh, do? Oh, yeah, there's a fire there. There's a fire yeah, there. Yeah, you can any, any time. No action required. Is it? Yeah. Okay, then. Mm, okay, lo. Then I shall get into melee with uh, C2. So oh, he, my. C2. So you rush. Melee. Hello, C2. So you rush towards C2. And what do you do? I shall attack with my two attacks. Wow. Because I'm a samurai. Alright, what did you do? How do you attack? Hanam strike, I think. Hanam strike. Hmm. Oh, short sword. Uh. A mom using short sword. Ah, it's a samurai, man. <laughs> 19 to hit. Alright. Uh, the first attack hits. Plus three. Yeah, impressive. How do you want to do it? Uh, 
So, how I attack is uh, the Bato style. Just one, one strike. One strike. So, as you strike your foe, blood gushes out from his chest and he crumples and perish. And with that, he fights is over. And, and I say, he dead. Yes, yes, this is all. And I'll currently try to find any gold that is laying around. All right. I'll, I'll look, at, look at the corpses of the dead men as well. And check, check their pockets, take their skimita. All right. So with that, uh, yeah, okay, I'm just going to activate the bodies just so we know where they are. And, uh, okay, fire is gone. Fire is gone. Fire is gone. No, yeah, uh, send this one. You don't need any action. You can end concentration at any time. Ah. No action, right? Yeah. That's a so concentration score. Alright. So, that's done. So, what do you guys do? Then, yep, I'll try. I investigate the body, the, anything that is caught my eye for gold. Alright, so uh, I'm going to assume that you're going to check C1 first. Yep. Alright, uh, John? I'm going to look at C C3. The bastard stabbed me, man. Alright. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to strip him away. <laughs> Alright. Feet to toe. I'm going to roll. Uh, do I need roll perception? Uh, no, no need. Like, they're, they're dead, so you can just rummage through their belongings. Like, yeah. yeah I'm going to strip him as well. No respect for him. I roll for investigation, including for the area if there's anything valuable. Alright. Okay. I already did 22 investigation. 22? Oh, my, my tracker's not on. Oh boy. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. That's a lot. Alright, 22 investigation, right? So as you peruse the body, uh, you notice that, huh? They, their pockets are light, like they don't carry anything. Like it feels like they're mostly kind of the cult that just gathers around, kills people, and just talk shit. That's the kind of thing. I, I, I strip the guy's body. Do I see any tattoo or anything? Nope. No, none that oh, you no, can. No. Uh, what was is your uh, investigation? I roll for second, I guess, instead of investigation. Cool, mm, um, When you strip the guy, you take a look, see, like, there's some strange markings, but it's unsure what those, what those mean or what those represent, but there's strange markings. Uh, it's around underneath the nip of their neck. Like, man, I show, I, I show you to the guys. Hey, look, there's this weird marking here. Know what this means, guys? Is that a table right beside me? Yep. Which one? Okay. The one to the right of me. The, this one here? Yep. That? Well, um, with your investigation high, uh, I say that you do see it, and it's been catching your eye since, well, you passed, since you got near it. And it looks like a chest, but on the chest it says, uh, "Do not touch." Aha! But that's just the chest. Uh, so anywho, uh, I'm going to finish up with the rest first before you want to do anything with the chest. All right. So, uh, Suka, what do you want to do? Currently, I'm just monitoring around. Right. Plus, on this, there's a object on my left, right? Okay. Sorry, on my right. Right. Uh, yes, that is the chest that I mentioned before. Um, but um, could you just roll a investigation or perception? One second. Uh, two skills. Investigation. Team. So, while you were fighting and whatnot, you do notice there's a chest at the corner there. And you also do notice the sign that says, do not touch. Alright. So, 
I'm assuming John is just going around robbing these people, right? Robbing them. I'm just helping to clean their bodies uh, of material right. possessions. Alright, which is only their <laughs> scimitars, which is four of them. Hmm. Well, well, it works as well. I, I, I clean them, I go to the next room, I guess, and go back to the person. And pass him one of the scimitars! Alright, cool, cool. Uh, so, I'm just going to say that you you head towards the previous room and offer the guy a scimitar. Uh, while going in there, you see the guy a bit kind of whoopsie or woozy, like he's kind of happy. Feeling better now? Oh man. I got no idea why I was so frightened about. Like, this is the best! Because you look I at the know. stars. Yeah. You know what? Take the skimita, bro. You need to fight for your freedom. Ain't that right? Oh, man. Scimitars? How do you use it? Yo, you go and see the enemy. You just gonna chop it. Chop your heads, man. Chop oh. your body. Right. Swing it. Alright. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. yeah. No, no need to fear, man. The only thing you need to fear is fear itself. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. And while that's, go. while that's going on, um, who has the higher initiative role between Mitch and Suka? You mean? Yeah, uh, who has the higher initiative bonus? Initiative, I got plus three. Plus three. Suka? Uh, plus two. Plus two, all right. Uh, Alright, the chest is available and Mitch go gets to gets first dips if he wants to get to the box first. It says to not touch it, right? Yes, do not touch. I'll try... I stay back. I stay far back. I take cover. I'll move towards C1's face. Mm -hmm. And then I'll pull out my light crossbow and shoot it. Alright. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. I have to mark off the bolt and then I'll try to open it. Do you open it? I'll try to open it. Alright. Uh, give me a second. Oh no. Why, why, why are there no dice here? This, this is... This is bullcrap. Alright. That, that is really annoying. There's no... Uh, <clears throat> what was the script says again? Ah, alright. So, as you... Oh, well, as you grab the bottom of the lid, uh, they were kind of razor blades. And it, takes, and it hits, uh, cuts you for... Two points of damage. Two points, ah. Yep. Alright, alright. Oh, that's odd, like, I can't show everybody the gruel. That's very annoying. But you do manage to open it, and inside, there is, well, quite a bountiful bounty for your troubles. Uh, there's 500 copper pieces. 100 silver pieces and 15 gold pieces. 15 gold, 100 copper, and what? No, 500 copper, 100 silver, and 15 gold. Uh, can you write it down? Can I point over it? Um, I got it here, I got it here. Huh, alright. And also, inside the chest contains a gold statue of a Dancing Pixie. Hmm. That's very cool. So what yeah, do you do? I'll snatch the copper. You snatch the copper? All of it. <laughs> all of it, including the... All, the... all the coins except for the statue. Ah, alright. So, when you were doing this, where are you on the map? I think it will be on the spot, on the... Yep, I guess. Yep. Alright. So 
So, Suka, could you do a perception roll, please? Yeah. Nine. All right. So, yeah, you see Mitch uh, got his hand cut and opened the chest and you ask what's inside. Hey Mitch, find anything interesting? Um, there's this bull statue. But I uh, pocket all of the coins first. Yeah, alright. How much again? What do I have? Uh, 5 copper, 500 copper, 100 silver, and 15 gold. Alright. If that gold amount? I only told you that that's the <laughs> knee. He yeah, but then if, if you walk around with that amount of like shielding and <laughs> really noisy, it's it's ob the obvious. It's gonna it's gonna be a huge pack. I have a couple pieces. Yeah, but let's just say uh, this is video game rules. I did not uh turn on the yeah. coin. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I I would have said that too. But anyway, so, yeah, uncovered. John comes back. And yeah, you guys are in the room. So what do you do? Do you recover HP? Do you explore some more? I, 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 bring, I bring the kidnap kidnap guy with me, of course. Oh, you want to bring the uh, commoner? Yep, NPC because he's gonna be with me. Hey guys, look, our friend here wants to fight too. Yeah, man. What's up? Do, do yeah. you know what his name is? What? Oh yeah. Okay, guys. Yeah, there's a statue in there. If you want to see what is it, what is up with it? There's a statue. What? Hey. To cut that, look at it. The golden statue of uh pixie, and I put it on the table. Whoa. That looks rad. You guys do whatever you want to do with it. Whoa. That's kind of cool, man. Yeah. 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 That, that, that's, that, let's keep it. It looks cool. Expensive. We can sell it for a lot of gold. Yeah. Cool. Oh, feeling like. And the guy, your friend here, pass out. Oh, bro, what happened to you? So, what do you guys do? Where, where do you guys want to go now? You guys want to take some rest before we explore now. I, I'm gonna take the golden pixie, I guess. Alright. Put it right back. Yep. Yuck. Alright. Uh, so, John takes the statue. Anybody uh, protest? Yeah, it's fine by me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, by you. Uh, so Suka and... Uh... Okay, to be fair, to be fair, I just wrote this for everyone else. If everyone wants to have a deep part in the coins as well. Uh, so what happened? Yeah, just to be fair, I just wrote this. But everyone wants to have a dip on the coins as well. Lower than that, and all the coins is fine. Uh, okay, so 15. Alright, so there's a challenge? Yeah. I won't be rolling, I didn't see that happen, so yeah. Alright. So. Mm -hmm. Camille. Camille. And... And... Catch, catch, catch someone stealing. Stealing gold. Camille. So. Kamiru and Suka, would you like to uh, oh. challenge? Nah, nah, I'm not. I'm not actively looking. All right, uh, Suka. It's above my passive. No problem. No, 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 no. Suka is currently looking at the walls. If there any any hole. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes. So now, um, what do you guys do? Um, do you guys? Wow. 
you guys want to have a bit of a rest? Can really yeah, sure we can do it yet. A short rest one day. Oh, I, I think it's fine. We, I'll be, everyone's not wounded, right? Except for me. Mm, I'm pretty half of my. Well, it's up to you guys. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're wounded, is it? A bit. Okay, okay. We'll take a rest. My friend here and I. Come here. Come here, room. Uh, I don't think your friend no. can move any more. Yeah, I, I, I want to go for another round of mushrooms. My meditation well, was so awesome. Yeah, yeah. Let, 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 let's, let's, let's have some. Let's have some shrooms, man. I got some let's more. Have mushrooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in my pocket. Can I come have some. Have some. Well, yeah. With all the shrooms business, we all gonna take short rest. Huh? All right. So take a short rest for one hour. Roll your hit die. Was it? Yeah. Hit die. All right. Roll your hit die, and yeah. So. An hour pass, and you guys banter with each other about where you came from, what you do, and stuff. And anybody want to share their character's backstory? Whatever. Let's go for John. Oh, guys, I tell you, oh, you know why I'm here, boy? You know, uh, having a short rest, I gonna treat a single musician for the salary fee. All right. Okay. You guys know why I'm here. It's because my friend Dips. He took my stash, yo. I want my stash back, man. I can't find Nibs. He took my my scene. Oh, okay. Mitch, ah. uh, Mitch, upon hearing the name uh, Neebs, you know him as the local trader of Daggerford. Uh, people say that he's not that good of a guy or whatever it is, but uh, the Midnight Hunter seems to trust him. Hmm. Interesting. What did he took from you? He took my, my stash, yo. I wanted to plant that for my hood. Hey, Mitch. Speaking of stash, have you tried my mushroom? Mm, uh, oh, I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm not interested, interested in those kind of things. No, 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 no. no. You don't understand. This proves you makes you strong. Uh, persuasion. Persuasion. Um, but we, why do I have to roll to against it? Uh, let's see. Um, you can roll persuasion two. Persuasion. Uh, if it's even uh -huh. or higher, you can. Sorry, if it's even, you can decide to take it or leave it. If it's higher, you can take it or leave it. Or if it's lower, you have to well, kind of be persuaded. <laughs> It's okay, man. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> so, with all this bantering about shrooms and whatnot, it's a minus one. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, yeah, my charisma oh. is... I dump my charisma and strength. Hmm. So, anywho, um, mm, uh, yes, with, all, <laughs> with all these talks about shrooms and whatnot, and looking at the effects of how everybody is relaxed and happy, you're, you're kind of curious. So, uh, how big of a shroom do you give? It's just uh, it's, it's a, it's a normal shroom, just enough to g give you some fun. Small. All right. All right. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll try to take it. All right, so you take it. Could you do a con saving throw, please? Con saver. Mm hmm Ah, all right. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. All right, no problem. So it's good, Andy. You taste... what? Those who take the mushroom take on saving throw. Yes. Oh, is it is it to resist the highness or something else? Uh, uh I would say I would say. 
You so, won't say? I won't say for now. I won't say for now. So, do I feel mm. anything no, yet? No, no. So, um, as you eat the mushroom, you're, what kind of uh, huffling are you? Stout. I am resistant to poison. All right. Yeah, also that too. So anyway, um, as you taste the mushroom, it's it's mushrooms. You you taste mushroom before. I mean, they're mushrooms, and you tasted all good, bad, poisonous, none, and whatnot. But it's meh. It's just meh. It's just meh. Yeah. You you don't know what all the hype is all about. So. Kamiru, uh, when did you took mushrooms from John? This is the second time in the campaign already. The first time was when? Uh, when I met him, yeah. Ah, alright, so this is the second time, alright. Uh, mm, okay, so eating more of the mushrooms, you kind of don't feel much like it's kind of meh can i willingly fail uh, <laughs> i don't think you can willingly fail yeah no 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 worry. this is just the fun mushroom not the super super strong ones uh, it depends on what, just... it depends on what happened because previously when kamiro ate it he was meditating all the time so mm-hmm. yeah so, yeah, it gives you concentration, bro. Yeah. Uh, but as 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 a caution, I'll use this thing to flush up it off my system. Mm. Uh, uh, what is called uh, toxin flush. While one more metagens here, I can flush anything toxin in my body. Ah, all right, good, 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 good. So, all right, with that. Uh, the hours up. What do you guys do? Let's go to the room number three. Should we go to room number three? Mm, why not? You can try to open the door first. I think. Let's open the door, man. Who wants to open the door? Uh, I guess it'll be me. Let's open. Alright. So you head towards the south and Camille moves away and you open the door and as you open the door and walk in a bit you encounter some friends yes uh, you, you encounter some friends Ah, they okay oh no what happened here uh, fight number two yes Alright, so you encounter some friends by the name of Gobos. <laughs> so yes, there's goblins. Goblin. Yep. Oh, they're goblins! So cute! What? They're, guys, they're goblins! Guys, there's enemies! Get ready! Um, bro, finish. Uh, <laughs> so when, when you open the door and you popped in, uh, Goblin 3 and four uh, three and four are going to jump into the mud while one and two are gonna get ready. So, yes, uh, run this one. Uh, wait, what? No monsters. That's bull crap. Alright. So, anywho, with that, um, initiative rolls. Uh, let me start first. No, no. Yeah, um, um, roll for initiative, please. Three for John, for Kamiru, uh, Suka. A bit now. Yes, girls. Yeah. I am so high. Still affected from the previous thing. All right, everybody, roll. I'm gonna start the game. So, <clears throat> John, uh, with your heightened senses, you enter the room. You see the goblins, but you're not surprised by them. You're kind of ready. Yeah. Pretty much, pretty much. So what do you do? Oh, by the way, uh, Goblin 3 and Goblin 4 are in the mud. Like there's a mud pond 
and their half cover. All right. Ha! Hmm. Half cover. Mm-hmm. Ah. I walk walk in front up to goblin number two. Number two. All right. So you walk in front like this, or do you at least take a move walk. like this? I go. I gotta walk in front like that. Go straight to that. Go straight to here. Yeah. All right. So what do you do? And uh, I say this right here. And for my bonus action, I transform into dire wolf. All right. Um, oh wait, you have pack tactics. Yes, I know, but you guys are not here yet. But that's fine. And I bite. And I bite goblin too. You bite goblin too. Uh, give me yeah. a second to open my thing here. All right. All right. So you walk up sh with swagger towards goblin number two. Uh, goblin number one doesn't even know what to say, and transform into dire wolf and try to bite. Uh, Goblin 2. Yes. What? Okay. Uh, roll, please. Isn't this the character that Chen Chen wanted to do? <laughs> I can do it. Oh, no. Nope, I guess. Unfortunately. Ah. So, as you try to fight the Gobo... Oh, wait, uh, wait. Ten, is 10 enough? Enough to hit? 10? 10. How come? Like... Oh, it, it has plus 5 to hit. Plus 5. Alright. So, as you transform... Um, Goblin 1 is shocked, by the way. Um, but Goblin 2 snaps out of it very fast and kind of dodges your bite. I I believe there's more than one, right? Only one attack. That's it. Oh, really? Yeah, it, it's written there. Bite, melee attack. And that's it. It doesn't have multi-attack. Ah, alright. Okay, okay. Yeah. Alright, and, and that's it. That's my turn. Alright. So Goblin 3 sees this and kind of like what the f so he he tr uh, he tries to move, but if I'm not mistaken, being in what con uh, is also difficult terrain. I think. I think it's yeah difficult terrain. Uh, difficult terrain is half movement, right? Yeah. Yep. So he'll he'll just move here, which kind of takes up half his movement. Was it? Oh, I think. Double the number of Double. So basically 10. Alright. He... I don't think so he has anything more. So anywho, um, for this one... Goblin 3. Uh, he'll... Take out his short bow and tries to shoot at the dire wolf that just appeared in the room. It's a 3. Total of 7. Ah, uh, self, no. Oh, that's a hit. One. Doesn't hit? So nope, it's a 40 natural armor. Alright, so as he shoots, he, with the difficult uh, movement that he has, and also the dire wolf inside the cave, um, he's just like, oh wow, um, I'm not ready for this. And fails the shot. So moving on to the next goblin. Uh, goblin number one. Uh, he um, goes around and flanks you, and attacks you with his scimitar. Goblin has a scimitar? This one, yes. Damn. 16. Hits. Six hits. Alright, and he's going to attack you with his scimitar for a total of 3. Okay. And with that, the Gobo is ending his turn. Now on to Suka. Ready? Yep, yep. You hear all the commotion going on in there, and decide. Well, what do what do you do? I'm gonna rush in. All right. As you rush in, sorry, um, five, ten, fifteen. As you rush in here, you notice a dire wolf inside. What? I do, do not recognize. <laughs> so you, technically, you have half movement. So, what do you do? Because there's a dire wolf inside. Uh, dire wolf don't communicate normally, right? Oh, no. They uh, garage growls. Alright. So, yes. Um, you can see the dire wolf is wearing a cap that you are very familiar with. Oh, yes, that one. Do I see it? 
Perception check. Perception check. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, you see it. You, you you see the familiar green cap of your friend. Yeah. So, you have 15 by the way, a half movement left. What do you do? I'm going to rush to Goblin 1. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to try to hit it with my Stretch Hammer. Hey, Warhammer, Stretch Hammer. What the... Still can, time to play the game. <laughs> So you try to smack Goblin 1 with your Warhammer and does it hit? Does it hit? Does it hit? Yes, it does. As you swing your hammer towards the Goblin, he fails to notice it and gets smacked in the head for his troubles. The spec tactic trigger. How does it work? You need flanking, it's not in the flanking position, but it's only applied to, I think, John. Yeah, it only applies to me, though. It only oh, only to you, ah? Uh? Only me, the wolf. Oh, okay. Yeah, the wolf has advantage on attack rolls against a creature. If at least one of the wolf's ally is within 5 feet of the creature, and the ally isn't facilitated. So, yeah, unfortunately, it's only for does me. It, does it stack with sneak attack, ah? Uh? It does, if... if it works with sneak attack, yes. I don't think so because sneak attack you need to be in human form to, uh, I mean, to activate. If, if your, nah, you just need finesse weapon, huh? Yeah, I mean if you if you are a if you are a rogue, then you're attacking but while near there, there, then it should work. Yeah, but if you're a rogue, uh, semantics. Never mind. Uh, anywho, carry on. Go for the damage, oh. Suka. The damage. Uh. Mm. Six, not bad. So that was a uh, goblin one. Yup. So, and with that, I'm gonna end my turn. All right. So as you swing your hammer and hit him in the head, you see a lot of bleeding going on. You, you, you. He's unstable. Like he's wobbly. So moving on to Mitch. Mitch, what do you do? Thirty. All right. Thirty foot, right? Or twenty five. Twenty five. Twenty five. I will move at the door. Alright, you move at the door. Here or here? Um, at the other side. So, here. Yep. So, that's already 15. Sorry, 15. Three, uh, 10. That's only 10. 10, right? Alright. I, now, I can only see Goblin 1 and 2, right? Yeah, you can only see Goblin 1 and 2. Uh, Suka and also a dire wolf inside. Uh, uh, but which bitch saw me morphing because he's in front of me. Uh, did you? Uh, I'm right across the table. Uh, I, yeah. I assume that the table is higher than me. Uh, that's also true. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are short. So I'm going to rule it as uh, he sees something but doesn't really know what happened. And I lost my night vision a while ago when yeah. it started. <laughs> yeah, that bonfire. Oh my eyes! So technically, I cannot see well for G1 and G2, right? Yeah, well, I'm going to say that you get a general view. It's not that dark. Uh, there's lanterns on the walls. Ah, okay. But there, it, it's not... Um, it's not that dark, but it's not well lit. Like, it's does not impairing to my action life. I wanted to yeah, do anything. Yeah. All right. As I'm there, I whip out my shot, uh, my light crossbow, mm -hmm. and I shoot onto G1. Cobo one. All right. Yep. Uh, roll please. Eleven. Eleven. Alright, so as you try to shoot at Goblin 1, the angle that you are in now is a bit hard. So you, you couldn't really get the right angle because you you, you Suka is in front of uh, in front of you and so on. So the arrow just ricochet, uh, oh. no, just hits off target. Alright. You have uh fifteen more movements. 15 more movements. Uh. Yep, yep. Uh, if like that, 
I'll will drop my crossbow. All right. And then move closer, right, uh, beside John. All right, right beside John. Yep. So that's all your movement. Yep. Awkwardly, using my left hand. All right. Uh, drawing my rapier. All right. <laughs> and then, uh, start stabbing on G1. All right. Uh, do a roll, and without. Uh, sorry. Damage was no bonus, yes. Uh, yeah, damage was no bonus. Yeah. Well, the roll is normal, right? Yeah, roll normal. Attack roll. Yeah, attack roll is normal. Uh, no bonus on damage. 22. Uh -huh, that hits. Roll for damage. Roll for damage. 1d8. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. 3. Alright, no problem. And yeah, with all the commotion going on, uh, you managed to s get into. Mm -hmm the room, um, get right up front the dire wolf that is trying to attack G2 and stab the gobo dead and he drops, well, he, he, he drops dead, he drops dead for a total of 3 points of damage. All oh, with my left hand, <laughs> that yep. is my bonus action and then I'll turn the turn back. Alright, so gobo 1, perishes. Ooh, uh. So now, who is next? Yes, Gobo 2. Gobo 2 doesn't really notice the chaos happening behind the big dire wolf and just tries to smack the dire wolf with the scimitar. Total of oh. 9. Nope. Yeah, so, yeah, he, he's, he, he managed to evade the attack, but he's untrained for fighting a dire wolf. And he's going to end his turn. Kamiru, your turn. What do you do? Renotan, I move to Gobutu and Wack. So, let's see. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. Alright, so Gobutu attack. Uh, attack roll, please. He's rolling. Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh, <clears throat> alright. Uh, 24 to hit, short sword. 6 point of damage on Gobu 2. So, hey. you rush in with your katana on the ready and you slash uh, Gobu 2 who is trying to hurt your friend. And you deal 6, was it? 6 point of damage. Um, with this, he was surprised by the um, attack, and it's kind of looking bad. He is looking really bad. What do you do, Kamiro? He swings again, I think. He's gonna sing again? Can he? Anam strike. Yeah, Anam strike. Oh, Anam strike. Eleven. Eleven. Um. So with that second attack. The Gobo does know that you're there and dodges the attack. Hmm, I see. Not bad. Ah, uh, the, the flavor is that I, even though it's two attacks, but it's actually, it looks like one swing, but it's ah. a multi attack, one swing. Yes. Samurai yes. style. <laughs> I see. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, so, I'm guessing, cool. pass your turn? Yeah, I had my turn. Alright then. So, it's Gobo's number four's turn. Um, looking at all this chaos, uh, he is going to take out his short bow and swing at the uh, samurai that just attacked. So he is going okay. to take out his short bow and shoot towards you. Mm -hmm. Eight. Does it hit? I just close my eyes, move my head. So as he tries to shoot you, you dodge by just moving your head and the gobo is like oh no and decides to take a step back now we move on to the top of the round with john time to gobo to let's fight it all right bye bye let's fight it 
Eh, Sumadi gembeng. Seven. Uh, wait, 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 what? Two, two rolls? What happened? Oh. Yeah, pack tactics for him. Okay, so uh, the first one is for attack hit. For, sorry, uh, to hit or both are to hit? This is advantage. We advantage roll. So uh, I roll five. Advantage. Uh, if you want to roll advantage, you have to long press the button. Ah, uh, okay. But 7 and uh, 17 are your rules then for to hit. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. So with that 17 with advantage, you easily manage to bite the wounded goblin. Roll oh, for damage, uh, please. Okay. Three plus three. Three plus three. Double bite. Three. Three plus three. Uh, Six damage. Okay, no problem. With that, you tear the goblin apart with your well fangs and uh, tear him up like a ragdoll. And all the goblin butt splatters everywhere, including your friends. Except for Su uh, Suka because he's at the back. <laughs> but technically, uh, the halfling is like half of. The oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you get it too. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right. It's a yeah. bloodbath. <laughs> yeah, and I'm and I'm going to go in front of Goblin Three. Give me a second. Let me just remove Goblin Two from the game. I think I'm only at your knee height. Oh, I can kick you around! Wait, I can toss you around. <laughs> the, yeah. you have the strength, if you have the strength. So anywho... Um, I have the strength. I got the power. <laughs> so John, you're going to head towards Goblin Tree? Yep, in front of him. Alright, so you easily manage to go in front of him. And what do you do? Oh. You end the turn? There's nothing more you can do, right? Yep. Alright. So moving on to goblin number three. Hmm. Um, looking at this, like suddenly there's a big dire wolf in front. He's trying to move back as far away as he can. So as he does yeah. that, uh, do you take the opportunity? Yes, of course. All right. Go ahead. Let me check for a while. Give me a second, man. Huh? Okay, unfortunately I don't have advantage on this roll, so do it. It says half cover, like half cover. Mm -hmm. So half cover would be at disadvantage, right? I think so. No. So. Is is it half cover? Yeah, he is half uh he's half in the mud. Yeah I guess it, it increases AC. Wait, huh? Oh yeah, like AC is increased by, give me a second, I, I remember this, uh, da, 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 da. yeah, his AC is plus two. Yeah, half cover is plus two. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. there's, the, yeah, no. so basically, uh, he managed to escape your bite and takes out his short bow and tries to, tries to ping you with an arrow. At this distance, that's at disadvantage, right? No, really? No, wait, is it? It's five feet, right? Oh. Yeah, I guess it is. So yeah, um, he's gonna roll for the arrow at disadvantage. The, okay, um, sixteen. The sixteen hit. Sixteen hit. Wait, disadvantage? Yes, because there's an eighteen and there's sixteen. Oh, nice, nasty. Yep, yeah. hit, hit. All right, for the damage. No, no, let's see my Total of five. Oh, uh, okay. Right, no problem. Right, you take the five, and he ends his turn. Uh, now it's Sukama. What do you do? Sumadi, go, go. Guys, go, go. Hmm? It's your turn, man. Jalan, jalan. Oh. Alright. Uh, 
mana jauhnya dalam If I could eh Okay I'm gonna I'm gonna move to a, a goblin tree Alright So you're gonna go So that's what 1, 2, 3, 15, 20 Alright So anything You're in the mud uh, You got half cover But your movement is Half was it? Yeah it's half right Yeah so your movement One. is half so technically, um, wait. Do you want to move here or do you want to move here? I'm gonna uh, the previous one. This one, right? Yep. All right. So what do you do? I'm gonna hit it with my hammer. Ah, gobo tree with your hammer. All right. Oh, gobo tree or gobo four? Gobo tree. All right, goblin tree. Please do, sir. It does not hit. Alright, that's not it. So, with being in the mud, halfway kind of in the mud, it's, I won't say really half, but your movement is hampered. For the gobo, they're not that tall, they're kind of half. So, you, when you try to swing your hammer, it misses because all he needs to do is just duck. What do you do next? Uh, I think I'm going to add my because there's not much to do. Alright. Now, Mitch, it is your turn. Alright, uh, how deep in the mud is Sukma? Is? Mm, when you look at the goblin, it's halfway around his waist. So, I'm guessing you two are the same height? I think so. So, yeah, if you hop into the mud, uh, you're just going to be waist deep. Okay. But you can climb on me. <laughs> that is also true. That is true. Go for acrobatics. Uh, tell you what, I'm gonna you uh. Hmm. This if I want to jump, it's count as an action, right? Uh, for this, I'll just say do it. Uh, uh, plus movement, like it's part of your movement. Okay, it's a movement. So what I'm gonna do is I'll start. Sprinting to Sukma and try to jump and land on his shoulder. <laughs> Alright, yeah. So <laughs> acrobatics, is it? Yeah, let's roll for acrobatics. So roll a one. <laughs> Alright. So yep. as you sprint towards Sukma, um uh um uh, 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 uh Kamiru uh, gives you a boost and you manage to uh, stand on Sukuma's shoulder and are ready for the attack. Uh, I think I still can reach it with my finger. <laughs> I'll just say yes, you, you can, like you're, you're Gatai right now. <laughs> Alright, I'll switch the rapier onto my main hand and then start trying to piercing. Poke, poke them. So which one? Uh, on G three. G three. All right. Do roll. <laughs> okay. Ah, eight. Um, with the awesome move that you just did, and kind of, well, uh, standing would wouldn't be the right word for it. It's more like piggybacking on Sukuma's shoulder. Yeah, yeah. Uh, pulling out the rapier and trying to hit it. But because there's a miscommunication between you and Sukma, he doesn't bend down. We, we never did communicate. I just went for it. <laughs> so like, yeah, because of that, he, he's just standing there and you're trying to poke the guy and he's not reaching. <laughs> you know that, 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 that short stuff and then you're standing on the tall stuff and try try. <laughs> yep. Mitigate anything that come in near you, are, that's how I look right now. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> and with that, um, what do you do? I'll have my turn, yeah. Alright, yeah, your turn. So, I got both two snacks. Now, Kamiru, what do you do? Looking at the situation in front of you right now, um, Sukuma is in the mud, your friend is a dire wolf, and mm. Mitch is on Sukuma's shoulder trying to poke at the goblins but not reaching. Hmm. Are the goblins damaged? 
uh, both goblins look really fine. They, they, they look good. Uh, it could be the mud. Ah, uh, okay. I'll just throw one dart to Gobo number uh, four. Alright. Roll, sir. As you take out your darts and ready to throw them at goblin number four, what happens? Does it hit? Kamiru, roll. Hello? Uh, can anybody hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so Camille is just AFK then. Oh no, there he goes. Custom mode. I think it's pretty lagging. Yeah, could be. Custom mode. 1d20. 1d20 for the attack. It's a 3. Ah! Um, if there's any bonuses, but I'm guessing the bonuses doesn't even um, stack up. Yeah, my phone lagging. And they, it was reloading the... Oh. The app, sadly, so it's uh, D20 plus 5, yeah, plus 5. Alright, no problem. So as you pull out your the dart and throw it at the goblin, uh, the goblin notices what you're doing and ducks into the mud and misses it. So now, uh, is there anything more? Hmm, I'll just stay put. End turn. Alright, you end your turn. Moving on to goblin number 4. Um... Noticing the chaos that's happening in front of him right now, but wanting to get back at you, he'll shoot his short bow towards you, uh, Kamiru. Oh, snaps! It's a net 20. Uh, for this campaign, I won't be dealing crit, uh, crits on this one. So, short bow. Going at you. What the? Oh, that way, is it? Yeah. So, you throw the dart and he. Oh! What's this? Deflect missile. Oh, but deflect missiles only for magic missiles, right? Oh, I think. Uh, this is. Oh, but that's weapon. Yeah, for, uh, for Monk. They have this. Ah, all yeah, right. remember, remember during our game where what 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 yeah, someone was like yeah. deflecting so, arrows off left and right. Yep, yep. So what happened now? That's it. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Eh? So, all right. <clears throat> wow, that's, that's, that, that, that's, a, that's a good trick. That's a good trick. So anywho, um, as the goblin duck your dart, he comes out at the ready and shoots his arrow straight at you. Uh, it would have been a really huge damage to you. But you have your skill that you just take your sword and cut it in half in mid air. Come again. You cut the arrow half in mid air. Come again, come again. Ah, huh? what? You cut the arrow half in mid air. What, what? Cut, repeat, repeat. You... Uh, how much was the damage? No, no, no damage, right? Because no damage. you catch the arrow. Yep. You, you, you slice the arrow in the air. Loading, loading. Uh, no damage, uh, I catch and I return fire. Can you? No, 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 I catch and I return fire, that's a monk thing. I can oh, return really? fire. Yes. Wait. For arrow? Huh? Okay. I need to read all this. Ah, okay, never mind. Uh, I'll just take it. So anyway, um, forget whatever I said. So as the arrow heads toward you, you kind of use your aura and move the arrow around and reflects back towards uh, the goblin. And damage is 12, right? Uh, no, eh? Good job, eh? Let me sell. Because, because, because usually it's catching the arrow, yeah? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, uh, the third level, you can use your reaction to deflect or catch the insult when you are hit by a range weapon attack. When you do so, the damage you take from the attack is reduced by 1d10 plus your dexterity plus your mount level. 
you if you are uh, if you reduce the damage to zero, which it did, you can catch the missile. It's small enough for you to hold in one hand mm -hmm. and have at least one hand free. If you catch the missile this way, you can spend one key point to make a range attack with the weapon or piece ammunition you just caught as part of the same reaction. You make this attack with proficiency regardless of your weapon proficiency, uh -huh. and the missile counts as a mon monk weapon attack for the attack. Uh -huh. So he needs to roll one. The normal attack, I guess, 1d20 uh, plus his proficiency. Think he already did with the okay. 6 plus 6? No, no, that, that, that's, the, that's the thing to check if he can actually attack. Ah, alright, so, uh, so... So, roll a d20. Hmm. How, how does it do again? Uh, roll d20. So, he just roll a re d20. Mm -hmm. So, it becomes like he re read the missile to an enemy. He catch it and then just throw it back. This is damage, right? Yeah, no. This one is to see if it hits. Ah, right. it just so if you can see if it hits the, the creature that he that has, that the weapon is thrown at. Alright. Uh, so come here, can you hear me? Come here. Kikoi Master, come here. Chan. Come here, you there? Oh no. Oh no. He's, now, he's doing something cool. Oh no, but... Yeah. Come here, you there? Well, I guess you, Yona, you, I guess you can roll for him, I guess, Norman. Alright, cool. Uh, I'll, I'll roll just a roll a d20 for him. Plus his proficiency, which should be 3. A 2, 2, sorry. So that's a 6. Plus. Oh, yeah, Kamil is rolling. Oh, oh okay. Kamil is rolling. Okay, right, okay, nice. Mind. Ignore mine. So oh, it's uh, 12. No, that's previous. Oh, sorry. There we go. Why doesn't it auto scroll? Yeah, Kamil will roll 12. Uh, 12. So, so uh, 14. 14, 14, uh, total of 14? Total of 14, yeah. Ah, 14 misses. Unfortunately for um, Kamiru, uh, the movement and the sending back to sender was really awesome, but the goblin noticed this and just ducks into the mud. 1d12, uh, uh, 12 plus 5, 17 to 8. 17. So wait, uh, the roll was the attack roll for the first one? He, he makes a range attack. He makes a range attack with the weapon. So, oh wait, you need to, you need to add your dexterity modifier as well. What's the dexterity yeah, yeah. Plus 3, 12 plus 5. So it's, so total is 12 plus 5. Ah, plus 5? 12 plus... Oh, 12 plus 3. Yeah, hey, man. Proficiency plus dex. Ah, 12 plus 2 plus... Plus how much, eh? 3, yeah? 17. 17. Alright, so if that's the case, um, you manage to grab... Take the arrow and return it to sender, and the goblin was not ready for that, and gets hurt with 6 points of piercing damage, which is very painful. Ouch. And with that, uh, I think rolling damage. Wait, I... it's not six. I think it needs to roll because it counts as a weapon attack. So it's a d6, I guess. Mm, oh, oh no. it's a six. Yeah, yeah, you roll a six. Yeah, it's a six, I guess. Yeah. The red roll. Who rolls the red dice? Yeah, he rolled with d20, so that's him. The d20 and then another d20. Ah, okay. Sorry, was this the dm? No, it's him. The, if the DM, how? I'm just gonna do a random roll. Give me a second. Just roll a D6, I guess. Yeah, I'm just gonna roll D6, see how it goes. Oh, that's me. Sorry, um, there's no 6. Uh, that's a 5. Okay, sorry, not no, bad. no, no. What I mean is, uh, that was me previously for the 6. Yeah, no. it's, I'm it's just, a 5. Yeah, I'm just waiting for Kami to do his damage. 4 plus 3. Kami roll? 1d4 plus 3. Yeah. Uh, proficiency again, it's already taken. Six, still six. Alright, same thing. Uh, the, oh. the goblin takes six minutes of damage on his turn. Wow. Alright, I'm gonna end the round and move to the top. John, it's your turn. Okay, let's do it. Uh, the wolf is annoying, bastard. So, Dyer is going to kill that annoying bastard. Which one? And he, he goes to D. 
he goes in front of G3. Goes right. to the butt, goes in front of G3, and he's gonna bite off his head. G3. So, Alright, go ahead. Roll for attack. Oh, yes. mm, nice. Alright, so you manage to um, jump into the mud and bite into the goblin. So, damage roll? Again. Ooh, eight. Eight. Wow. Um, with that, as you bite hard onto the goblin, you trash him around in the mud. You manage to sever his arteries, and he is dead. So, what do you do next, my friend? Goblin number four, and I'll go towards Goblin number four. So give me a second just to get rid of number three. Number three is gone. Number four is only alive. So you move. Sorry. You were here, right, Jason? Yep. Right. And then move so through the map to Goblin number four. Fifteen. All right? Yeah. What do That's you it. do? Like... All right. So okay. you That's end it. your turn. So, so Sukawa, what do you do? Okay, my turn. Uh, eh? Okay. I'm gonna try to hit it, the goblin number four, with my hammer. Alright, go ahead. Ooh, one, two, ooh, eleven. So... As you try to hit the goblin with your hammer, you're kind of weighted down by a halfling on your shoulder. And yeah, um, it kind of hinders your attack and it misses. Yeah. What do you do? Oh, I'm gonna move uh, downwards. Is it downwards? Yes. That's yeah. all. All right. So that's ten. Yep. And then I'm gonna stay there. All right. By the way, you're carrying a long Mitch. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> all righty then. So Mitch, what do you do now? All right. Uh, this time we're gonna move down a bit. Move down a bit. And then I try to <laughs> <laughs> again with my here. All right. So you're gonna hit it with your rapier. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, only eight. Yep. So um, as the whole commotion going on, um, Sukuma is like confused. What What do you tell me to do? What do you tell me to do? And he's trying to poke the goblin again, and still doesn't hit. <laughs> uh, what do you do next? I do a switcheroo with my hand, uh, leading my rapier to my off hand, mm -hmm. and try to use my. Uh, bonus action to attack it. All right, let's see. With the same repair, but with a different hand. All right, let's see, let's see how it goes. Leading a bit forward, <laughs> try to catch a grip on the goblin. All right. <laughs> Eleven. Well, it nearly hits it, but no, not 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 close, not close. It 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 was just by this much. Again, I'll, I'll just stay on top of Sukuma. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so it's Kamiru's turn now. So by the way, um, Kamiru, uh, at your current yo, yo. position right now, everything is very jumbled. Like you have a hard time hitting the Gobo, unless you move uh to the north a bit. Everything is hitting, meaning what? I cannot go melee or what? No, I mean, uh, it's hard to hit right now because the current position that you are in now, it is hard to hit. You have no clear shot. Yep. Uh, okay, okay. I start uh, praying for the gobble. Praying? Mm, I start praying for the gobble because I know he's gonna die. Okay, so you do that thing <laughs> and move, uh, pass your turn. Mm, yep. Alrighty then, so now it's the Gobo's turn and looking at the situation right now, he is screwed. But not wanting to go out like a loser, 
he will take out his scimitar and try to slash the big hung big yeah wolf if he survives he'll get he can tell stories about this to his children and whatnot five does it hit <laughs> <laughs> so, um, as he imagines hitting you, slashing everybody in the room, and proclaiming that he is the best, it is all in his head. While in reality, the slashes does nothing, and he passes his turn. Now, John, what do you do? I will in his dream and kill him. Mm, how do you do it? Oh, I'm just gonna bite, bite off his head, that's all. Alright. How, how, how do I roll with advantage, eh? Can't roll uh, it. Uh, I think you hold down, right? Doesn't yeah. work. Pick a yeah. die, hold I'll down. Huh. Oh, doesn't work. Doesn't work. I, uh, yeah. Are you using um, the app on the phone or yeah. on the oh. browser? Browser. If the browser, you have to left click. Left click? Doesn't work. Sorry, sorry, right click. Right click, doesn't work. So for me, it does work right click, and that's uh, you can choose in the advantage flat or disadvantage. No, mine and so anyway, um, oh, oh uh, so. seven. wait, right. So, wait, uh, there's bonuses to that, like what the first one was four, the second was seven. The advantage, so I just choose the highest, so the highest was seven, unfortunately. Seven, plus seven plus five is twelve. Well, I don't think it hit. Alright, so uh, as you try to bite, the gobo covers in fear and goes deeper into the mud. And yeah. you miss him. And the gobo gets back up. What do you do? That's it. I don't mind then. Can't do anything. Alright, so Sukuma, what do you do? Oh, God. Is there anything else I can do? Ting, 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 ting. Nope, nope. This is gonna hit you with my it and drown it in the bush. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> on my back. <laughs> with a hardly on your back. Of course. I'm just gonna try to hit it with my hammer again. Alright, go ahead. Why is it landing on 7? Oh, boys. So, as you try to hit the gobo, the gobo just. um. Mm, Moves around and uh, avoids your attack. What do you do next? Yeah, okay, uh, with that, I'm just gonna end my turn. Alright, Mitch. Uh, do you tell Sukuma <laughs> to bend down a bit more? <laughs> Get on your knees! Get on your knees! <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll switch the rapier onto my main hand and mm. try again. Alright, let's see. <laughs> Even worse. Mm. Alright, do, do you switch hands again? I don't think this time. I'll just end it in there. Alright, so it's now Kamiru's turn. So, praying for the oh, gobo right, does the opposite effect of him dying. Mm, wow, okay, I shall move. To a place where, a location where I can throw a dart. Alright. So, somewhere and throw that. Alright, so you move here. That, that, that will give you some good views of the gobo. Okay, my, my dice is moving really slowly on my laptop. Even on our end. Even I, on our oh, serious? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I need an awesome OP new laptop or turn off the settings. I switched from mobile to laptop because uh, I don't think my phone can handle two apps at the same time. So uh -huh. now, but now I switched to laptop and uh, the laptop's graphics suck. So oh, let me see if I can turn I... it. Oh, what well, is... There we go, 12. Okay. 12. So there's a 12. So as you throw the dart, it misses the gobo. Like with all the chaos, um, yeah, it could be the praying that you did previously. Mm -hmm. Wow, the the prayers I learned was really good. Yeah, cool. I don't think okay, uh, are equivalent to seven. Seven, 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 seven. Oh, God. Yeah. So, anyway. Yeah. Um, that prayers, man, don't pray. Don't pray, don't pray. Let the goblin die in peace. Uh, 
So Jesus. anywho, um, looking at all this chaos, the Gobo just says, uh, fuck this and tries to run. Uh, moves here, doesn't trigger any attack opportunity. So this is 10. Uh, go on to ground is two, 10, 15. So, John, yeah, and attacks opportunity. Yep. Let's go! Let's go, baby! I'm gonna roll this twice. Twenty. Alright. Uh, you have double roll or sing uh single. Double advantage, but still twenty. I don't think I need to roll another. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. So uh, that's another twenty, right? Then twenty. Thirty plus five. Twenty-five. Damn. All right. Um. Uh, do damage, please. So I roll three d six. I guess. All right. Hey, sorry. I roll four d six, right? Because normally it's roll two d six. Double my crit, right? Yeah, yeah. Right, let's roll. Mm. So, as, as the goblin tries to run away from you, you manage to grab it and um, ragdoll it under the mud and just kills it. Like, you, you rip out his artery and now he's bleeding and drowning at the same time. And Gobo 4 is dead. And the round ends. I'll get off of Sukma <laughs> and jump onto the one that I yeah. Alright. I, want to I will. To I'll scurry towards room number two to pick up back my shot bowl, uh, uh, my light. Yep. Over there. Yep. Alright, so. I will, I will get out of the mud and then shake myself clean. <laughs> Alright, so Sukma? Gonna check uh, for the goblins remain. Uh, which is uh, give a second to activate them back. Right, there we go. So, um, where do you want to check? Uh, three, one, two. Have to check at three first. Then we go to four. Then two. Then one. All right. So, as you check the remains of the goblin, you don't find much um, because of well, what John did in his dire wolf form. Uh, you, there, there's nothing to, there to begin with, to be honest. So, yeah, um, with the condition that they're in now, yeah, Goblin 3 and Goblin 4 are kind of messed up. Mm -hmm. You check one and two? Yep, I'm gonna check one and two. So there's no marking, no nothing? No, nothing. Like, uh, they're just normal goblins, hired, um, Taxo hired. Oh, okay. I'll go check the last door if it's locked or not. Alright. Uh, you go and check the door. Um, could you do an investigation roll, please? Eleven. All right. Uh, you check the door and technically you're a rogue, right? Nope. I'm um, a uh, blood hunter. Ah, blood hunter. All right. So you check the door and you can tell that it's not locked, but you're not sure if it's trapped or not. Okay. So what does the rest of you guys do? Trying to turn off the 3D effects, my god. Okay, oh alright. <laughs> so, so that's you. Um, uh, I have to go to the next room. And By the way, um, I'm, I'm still assuming that you're in Daewoo form? Yep. Alright. So as you head into the room in your Daewoo form, which is, I think, medium, right? So he should still cover one square. <laughs> Die wolf is large. Large. So large. Um, how large is he? I'm not sure. It's just saying that it's large. Large. Uh, ten. Ten. Yeah, ten square. Ten I think. I think it's covered. Like, yeah, four cubes. Four cubes. You cannot fit to the door. <laughs> yep. So <laughs> as you try to go into the door, you, you, you can manage. 
Squeeze there's it? A big, there's a big hole. Yeah, no, you can't. Like, like if, if you try to squeeze, you're blocking the door. Let me check. How, how, how big is the diamond? Huh? It's the same. Yeah, but uh, looking back at what what uh, gameplay the die wolf covers like 4x4 four four. ah yeah you're right it's about, it's about 9 feet huh? yep. 9 feet uh, oh well you know what I'm just gonna take my die wolf form so you wanna change it back yep I change it back in front of the guys and then I I, I, I walk inside with Tiger alright so yeah Um, as you see the die wolf Transform back into John. Uh, questions are sure to be asked. I just told the guys, oh man, I haven't had so much fun for so long. Uh, the wolf tastes bad. The goblin tastes bad though. You don't say. Many from my past mistakes, I'll step aside and just say generally to the other. The door is unlocked. Mm. So what do you do with that info, guys? I'll open the door, I guess. I'll open the door. Oh, wow, okay. So you head up and open the door. And give me a second to load up map 3. Oh no, gobbles need to be gone. Give me a second. Commoners. Oh, there's a lot of gobbles. Oh no. <laughs> and... Yeah, you guys. Uh, so here, 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 and here. So as John, you enter the room. You don't see much, but you see a really big room with some menacing aura in it. Oh, I approach it. I, I, I tell the guys, guys, come. So you move in Look at slowly. That. So marching order? I'll be the last. Alright. Sukuma will Wait, be... Wait, You can just be on my shoulder. That is also true. God I'll die. try to self in. <laughs> Alright. So, Kamiru? I think I'm gonna go last. Alright, so this is the marching order. Oh man, you're paladin! <laughs> okay, you let the group go in front. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. So you guys enter, and as you enter, you fully see what's going on. Oh, no. You do not see that. <laughs> Zombie? Oh, it's trapped. <laughs> oh, no, no, you don't, no, you don't, mm, no, no. So as you enter the room, you see. Um. The uh, underneath the alt, um, beneath the statue figure, kind of a cult leader who's chanting. Uh, the two goblin on the other side of the altar, uh, kind of finishing um, this, uh, sacrificing a creature, uh, and zombies at the back. The, oh, I thought it was a villain. So, oh no, uh, and. As you enter, the uh, cultist leader turns and, oh, I see we have visitors. Please come in. Oh, don't mind if I do. Yeah. Again, I'll stop stopping it. <laughs> okay, so you're stopping it, eh? All right. And I will march in front. So you guys enter in, and Mitch is going to. Be one square back. All right. So, how can I help you? It seems that you're lost, and judging by your appearances, I it seems that you have managed to well get rid of my men. Oh, really? Is that your man? Oh, no, they were just having a nap. A long nap. Uh, I see. A long nap, you see. So how can yeah. I help you here? Uh, I don't know. Sakma, well, how, how can he help us here? 
How can he help us here? Soma cast guiding bolt through the cult leader. Cast guiding bolt through the cult leader. Oh, surprise attack! Nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, as the surprise round went in, I'll chuck a mutagen called celerity. All right, all right. Okay, so as that happens, uh, let me just double check the cult leader's stat for a bit before we go to. Battle. Okay. Let's see. Cult leaders. All right. So you chuck a uh, guiding bolt. Yep. All right. Guiding bolt thirteen to hit. So as you say that, the cult leader. Well, the cult leader wasn't really paying attention to you, but as you say that. And through the golden bolt, he wasn't fast enough to react and gets hit by it. Ooh, that's good. Damage. Roll for damage. 2d8 or 3d8? 4d6. 4d6. Ooh, that's That's a lot of damage. Alright, I'll note that until we move on. Alright, so as you hit the cult leader with the guiding bolt, he's... He screams in pain, like, ah, huh. I was about to give you a way out, but there's no way out then. I'll make you part of my sacrifice. And Is that a zombie harem? A and roll for initiative. By the way, I did put the description for celerity. Alright, give me a second to read. Attack score is increased by 3 as that's your max mm -hmm. for that score. However, if there is a weakness, you can throw your deck. Go with. Oh. So, I initiative, for initiative, I have uh, plus 4. So, it would be 8 instead of 7. Alright, let's see what everyone's at. Okay, cool, cool. By the way, uh, there's a special rule for the zombies, but I'll say that when the time comes. Alright, let's start ground. So Camilo's first. What do you Sorry, do? Sorry, that's again. Dexterity check. Ooh. That's again. Sorry. Okay, no problem. Uh, how far am I from the cup leader? Uh, let's see. 10, 20. You can... Give a second. 20, 25. You can um, spend 25 movements to hit directly to him. Oh, and give me a second, I need to uh, append the damage first. What was it? 12, right? Guiding mode? Yep, 12. Alright. So, Kamiru, what do you do? Mm. Okay, I go to his, uh, to his face. Alright, so you run towards him and uh, hits here. Uh, opportunity attack for Gobo Jalan, right? I don't think so. Mm. I don't think mm. so because it's still in within his uh, name. Uh, still in melee lah. I enter melee lah, I guess. Alright, okay, so... Yeah, he's still within 5 feet of them, so no, it doesn't count. Alright, so as you hit in, what do you do? I attack uh, the cult leader with 3 attacks from my flurry of blows. Mm. Alright. So here we go. Um, the guiding bolt hit, so my first attack is advantage, is it? Yep. yep. Alright. First attack. Uh, in browser, how to advantage? I just do it twice. Right click. If you can try it, right click. I can't on my end. That's strange. Like. Yeah, right. me too. I can't do it. Yeah, if, you, if you cannot, just... Uh... Just click twice, uh. it's easy. Mm. Oh, oh, there you go. 18 to hit. 18 to hit. So, <laughs> you managed to hit it. You managed to hit the cult leader. So, that's the okay. damage. That's, that's the first one, right? Second attack. Yep, first one, second attack. Alright. 10. Misses. And I'm assuming this is all in one movement, right? 
all and you see one sweep but three attacks come out. Alright, so you see the cult leader take the first hit but manages to block or manage to deflect both of them. Mm, not bad. And my turn. Alright. Uh, Sukmadi, so what do you do? I'm going to rush over to Goblin number 5. Alright, you rush over towards Goblin number 5 and what do you do? And take a swing at it. Alright. Swing, swing, swing. Go ahead. Kobo number 5. Oh. Seven, I guess that's miss. No, nope, it misses. It misses. Seven. As you swing your Warhammer down, he takes a side step and uh, avoids your attack. But with that, I'm gonna end my turn. Alright. Moving on towards Zombie E. Uh, sorry, uh, E. Oh boy. Uh, um, zombie E does nothing. Zombie D does nothing, and Zombie F6 does nothing. Now it's on to the cult leader's turn. So, <clears throat> here's the thing about the cult leader. He says to Kamiru, Huh, that was impressive. But, here's something more impressive. He holds down his talisman, that is, uh, he's clutching down his talisman and he's controlling the zombies. So, the special thing with him is uh, all the zombies move on his turn. Okay. Oh no. So, I'm gonna go for zombie one. Uh, zombies are. Give a second. Zombie has movement of 20. Alright. So, this guy is going to stump. Uh, to move along. One, so that's five, and it's going to attack uh, Sukma. What? Yep, so he is going to s slam. He is going to slam you. Right. For a total of 16. Does it hit? Nope. No. Alright, alright. Here's a paladin. True, true. Yep. And a warforge. This is 20, wow. Where, where were you when we needed you? <laughs> right. Alright, so that's misses. So, zombie number 2 is going to come here and attack uh, Kamiru. So, that's B. Give a second. He is going to swing at you. He's no, he's gonna slam. For total seventeen. Mm, hits. Hits, alright. So he's going to slam and let's see. Damage is going to be total of two. Okay, just a scratch. Alright. So zombie tree is going to uh, so 10, 15, 20. So before is going to stumble and fall here. 5 is going to move along here. It's 10, 15, 20, 5, 10, 15. Sorry, no, just that. Right, and that's it for the cult leader. So moving on to John. Yes, I can. You know what? As long as cult leader is dead, we have no more zombie problem, right? Uh -huh. mm, probably. Oh. You can try to attempt to control if it does me.
Let me load, load this up first. I want to try this. Alright. Ooh, detention. Okay, all right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put fairy fire. Fairy fire? Okay. Yes. Yes. Nice. Yes. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yes! And the fairy fire is gonna cover C6, Z4, G6, Z5, and Z6. All right, give me a second. So. Don't hit me, bro. No, no, it's not, it's not, it's not hitting you. It's, it's gonna cover the zombie leader because it's, it's on the edge. So unfortunately, he's gonna kill but you won't. So wait, uh, yeah. it's going to be like this? 20, fo 20 foot, right? 20 foot cube. Yeah, that, oh, wait. Is, that is a 20 foot cube. This is 20 foot? No, no, no. This is not yeah, 20 foot. That, that is a 20 foot. One box. Yeah, 20 foot. Yeah. 20 foot cube is 4, four, four, four by 4. 4 box. Four box. Four box. Yeah, yeah, 4 by yeah. 4. So there's 4 boxes. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, no, 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 no
There we go. Oh, big, uh. Uh, yep, I thought it was small, but it's big. <laughs> two by two, uh. Alrighty then. What do you do now? Yep, let's go and help my friend. And I go forward, uh. Alright, one. That's it. I'm my turn. Alrighty then. So with that, uh, it's Goblin number six turn. Uh, looking at this chaos, he'll try to protect his uh, leader. So he'll move. Uh, here, on top of the, what you call this, uh, altar, swing, uh, take out his uh, scimitar and swing towards uh, Kamiru. Kamiru, yes. Okay. 15, 19, 19 to hit. 19 to hit, hit. Alright, so now damage. For 6, wow. Ouch. Six points of damage. And the goblin screams, No one touch just the leader! And we move turn. Towards zombie C, zombie don't move. Don't control. Mitch, your turn now. Alright. I will draw my wreath here. Mm -hmm. And then first use my bonus action to use my crimson right. Alright. I will take another full damage. Okay. Ouch. But the effect is going to be good later on, so that's good. Yep, and then I'll rush towards the Z5. Z5, so... Uh, uh, never mind, I'll just... Wait, do I go to Z5? I'll go to Z3 first, uh, because I have stealth, so I don't think they are. Yeah. Okay, 1, 5, 10, 15, 20. Alright, so you'll do an attack with advantage? I'll do, yep. I do an attack with advantage with my rapier onto that other hopper. Alright. Nice three hits. So I mean the the the, the twenty three already hits. So, oh already advantage, alright cool. Yep, I don't need to lose my lucky. Alright. So uh, that's with the damage plus the crimson light plus lightning one. damage. Nice. Oh, 13. Full oh, damage, nice! So you deal wait, 13 points of damage to the zombie. Oh, um, yep. As you stab the zombie, you see it shivering, like uh, reacting to the shock, but nothing beyond that. And then I'll pass the turn for now. Alright, now it's uh, Gobo number 5. Uh, still focusing on the leader, well, protect the leader at all costs. He will swing at Kamiru for. Yeah, he'll swing at Kamiru. The zombie really don't like that. Alright, right, 19 is a hit, so now for damage. Oh, is that zombie whacking me? Eh? No, no, uh, it's the goblin. So... Oh, goblin's hit, okay. Yeah, Goblin yeah, swings you for a total of 5 damage. Oh, wow. Okay. Ow. So, yes. Now he ends his turn. And Zombie A, nope. Back to you, Kamiro. Ore no time. I'm surrounded. No surrender. I shall do 3 attacks to the uh, cult leader with advantage. Mm-hmm. Three advantage. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Two hit at advantage. Eighteen hits damage. Seven. My my deck is currently at plus four. Plus four, alright. Because cool. of the clarity, uh, increase my dexterity score by three. Alright, alright. So, but I mean, it's about your wisdom save. Just, oh no. Uh, so as you slash your short sword, uh, the cult leader seems pretty hurt. Second attack. Flurry of blows. Oh, 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 oh. Right. Nice. Hit. Oh, 
Oh. Five damage. That's painful. And so as this one hits, I trigger open palm technique. And I choose the effect of uh, knocking him prone. He has to do a DC 13 deck save. So this one? The card leader. Stun him, stun right. him. So DC 13. No, so that one not yet. Uh. Oh, that one not yet. So, uh, so he needs to do what now? Uh, DC 13 deck save or be knocked prone. DC 13, alright. So, uh, let's see. You cannot stun him? No, I'm just nah, not yet. They want level 5, I think. So, here we go. Roll D20. 5. He is knocked prone. My third attack, it's at double advantage. <laughs> There's no double advantage. Three dice. <laughs> so close. 24. Alright. Almost, almost, almost three. Seven. And with... This, 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 this is very confusing with how he described his earlier moves. But um, with that seven point of damage, you kill the cult leader, and the cult leader falls. Mmm, beautiful. With one, with one, uh, with one sweep motion, it's three attacks, and the guy's not prone. However, and, you describe it. Yeah, yep, and he's dead. So I, I imagine the Wing Chun, you know, the uh, before, before. Uh, hmm. So far, we haven't seen an attack from him, right? Uh, his attack is... Sorry, his action was controlling the zombies. Okay, okay. No, so, never mind. Uh. Okay. Mm, it was like a Bato Samurai. One one movement. Ching! Alright, so what do you do? Mm, I stand there on a the victory pose. Who's next? Alright, so Sukuma. What do you do? Uh, okay, now the zombie still stand? Yep, the zombie still stands. Ooh. Okay, I'm just gonna aim for the goblin number 5. Alright. With my warhammer. Go, we have advantage. With advantage? No. Yep. No. no, no, no. Mm -hmm. The goblin oh, number yeah, 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I, I mistaken it for the zombie. It uh, doesn't hit. No, uh, it misses. Uh, you swing hard onto the goblin, but the goblin manages to kind of fumble his way around your hammer. Alright, that. Uh, I have nothing else that I can do. I end my turn. Alright, now on to zombie 5. You. See the zombie just standing there, doing nothing, and he has his turn. Number four does the same thing too. Six follows the action of the others. Number two does the same thing too. Ooh. Now it's John's turn. Okay, since I'm large, I'm just gonna push away the zombie number five and go for zombie number six. Alright, so you go past 5, but still we need to raise. That's what I Goblin number 6. I, I mean, I'm going to go for Goblin number 6. So, yeah, I'm just going to rush rush through them and smack Goblin number 6. Uh, oh, this is going to be hard. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I'll just, uh, okay. I'll just knock, knock them over, I guess. Yep, Goblin number 6, I'm coming to mom you. Alright. Wait, that one... Advantage? No, there's no advantage. No, oh, no, but I do, because I have pack tactics. Pack tactics only for ally yeah. within range, right? Kameru is right behind him. Oh, yeah, well. Five feet range? Yep. Uh, there is there must range. be an ally that is near to the uh, enemy. Alright. So, yep. Uh, both misses. See? 15 misses. 15? 15. Oh. 10 plus 5. 15. Ah, alright. Yes, it hits. Very it hits. Good. Time to snap off his head. Let's go. 4 oh, plus 3. Uh, mm -hmm. Alright. So, with 
one swift action, you pass through the zombies, you bite onto goblin number six and rip his head off. And he's dead. And Tatuna. Uh, right then. Now on to his turn, but he's dead. Uh, zombie three does nothing. And now it's Mitch's turn. My turn? Yes. Alright, seeing all the zombies are motionless, not doing much, I'll step right side of Super. Mm -hmm. And then I'll try to step G5 with Barapia. Alright, go ahead. <laughs> Ten. Nine. Uh, Ten, because it Ten. doesn't add up for the plus four for my uh, uh, dex. So what, is plus 30? This should be, uh, no, uh, my dex should be up so instead of plus three, it should be plus four. Ah, okay, so... So basically that's not it Alright. Even for a 10. Mm -hmm. What do you do now? And that is all my action. I want to switch, I pass it. Alright. So, oof. Next turn is the Goblin's turn. Uh, it is not looking good for Goblin number 5. Give me a second to remove Goblin. So Goblin 5, seeing all of this chaos happening, decides to turn tail and run. So he'll move here. I think that triggers a reaction from Kamiru, Mitch, and Where also, do you think you're going? Uh, yep, yep. Sukma. Uh, I'm, for this one, I'm going to ask for who has the higher decks. I got plus 4. Plus 4. Okay. Ambil Alright. Yeah. Uh, roll for reaction first, then. This is uh, 20, 22. Oh, 22, alright. Alright. Wow. Yeah, because I have the potion celerity, give me my bum up my dex score plus 3. Wow. Plus 2 to the dex score. Wow, OP, man. So. Plus another uh, nine, it should be nine. All right, so um, plus the crimson right. Okay. The full damage again. All right, so as you as the goblin tries to run away, uh, you're the fastest to notice, and stab the goblin right between the you you stab him as he was running, and with all of your power in your blade. You shock the goblin, and he turns to dust. Another one bites the dust. Wow. And with that, um, yeah, uh, that's his turn, and he's gone now. And so it moves on to zombie one, and zombie one does nothing. So... I would like everyone to do a investigation. Oh, sorry, um, investigation or perception roll. I'll make an investigation. Oh, I'll make perception roll since I'm in the wolf form. Twenty-three. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Hey, net twenty. John. Okay, nice. Alright, nice. So, Wait, uh, yeah, there's a bonus for it. There's I a bonus check. for it. <laughs> yeah. That's high already. That's high already. So, anyway, um, uh, fight yeah. ends for now. And yes, as you noticed previously, when it was on the cult leader's turn, he was clutching his talisman and the zombies reacted to it now with the cult leader gone the there's nobody to control it so now uh what do you guys want to do i will stick to the troll go to the troll 
and try to investigate the test. Daddy, look! So, I am going to... Yeah, there's always still be there. Still. Yeah, going to go and look for anything that I can find. So, with... Nope. Investigation 6, yeah. So, you, you just see the dead body and the talisman around his neck. That's about it. Uh, nothing much. Oh, by the way, um, near Zombie 2 and Zombie 4 are levers. Yep. So, what do you guys do? Mm. Uh, I'll try to do level two ways you assume right, right. Which one? Level one. Level one. Yeah. All right. Give me a second to open the book. So, what do you want to do with it? Try to pull it. Alright, so the lever is down by the way. It's in the uh it's in the soft position. Oh then I'll turn it up, pull it up. Alright, so as you push it up, you hear a coming from the soft of you. Okay. And as you turn your head to see the sound coming, it's the door opening. Ah. Wait, which one? Bloody hell. Which one? Which, which, which is the door? Is it? There. Is it? There. Uh, <laughs> so the exit that the, the guy saying was actually a monster exit? What what monster exit? Uh, what guy? Okay, never mind. Is there, is there anything coming up from the exit? I'll, I'll try to nudge Kamiru to pull the other lever. Uh, ah, the okay. Lever I pull the is... lever. Alright, so as you pull the lever, spikes. No, no, not really pops up, but a trap door opens and spikes appears. Yep, that's the. Oh. Oh, no. yeah. Okay, we don't want that. Uh, Kamiru, you can, you can shut that thing. Yeah, off. okay. Turn off. So as you. Try to push it back to the top. It doesn't work. Nothing happens. What? Wow. I'll close, I'll pull back the first level first. The door closes. <laughs> now, come here, try. Okay, I activate my lever. Nothing happens. Uh, uh, Kamiru did a net 20, right? On his perception. Perception, roll. yep, net 20. Alright, uh, next to the pedestal for the control panel for this one, there was a note on it. Uh, you didn't really pay attention to it because you don't really need to. But upon further inspection, it says, uh, trap door broken, once pulled cannot be clothes need to repair ask Bob to fix it <laughs> uh, can he fix it? I don't yes. know he could be dead he's, a, he's probably a zombie I guess no he could be one of the cultists that you killed earlier hmm oh well you know what while they were doing all of this I, I'm going to do my best to finish off all the zombies huh? oh you want to eat them? Uh, I'm going to uh, use my claws to claw them off. From my position, can I see how deep is the trap door? Uh, no. Uh, from your position right now, you do see a dark hole, but that's about it. Uh, I, I'm going to gesture to uh, Sukma, Sukma D, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> to, to finish off the zombies. Uh, well, I, I also finish them off. Basically, you're going to tear them apart. <laughs> Alright, yeah. so... Mm, okay, that's gonna be interesting. Alright, uh, if 
As they are finishing off the zombies, I just pull back the lever to open the door. So the door opens. And oh, I am going to focus on uh, John for a bit. So John, uh, you attack which one first? Let's go for zombie 6. Eh? Alright, you attack zombie 6. So I'm just going to say that's an auto hit because they're not really trying to avoid you. Yes, that's true. That's true. They're just like standing there, right? Yep, yep. So roll for damage. By the way, I flush off the toxin inside my body so the celerity effects wears off. Alright. So that 10 point damage. Alright. Good, 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 good. So I'm gonna pass it to Sukma. Can I drag the, the zombies into the pit? Like push them in? Sure you can but it will uh yes you can but it will take half your movement just to uh get them into position. You know what? I'll grab the talisman and try to command the zombie into the pit. Alright, uh, give me a second. Uh, that's very interesting. That's a good plan. It's a good plan. Huh. The thing is, what if it's a cursed item? True, uh, true. We uh, never uh, as try. you put around your neck, could you roll for Arcana? Sure. It's a nine. Nine. That's, that's slow. Hmm. Yeah, it does not come up into the chat, the game log. But on my app, it does. There we go. Alright. Um, You put on the talisman and try to think of the zombies to move, but nothing happens. It must be broken. I passed it to uh, to uh, someone over there. Come here, Come here. yeah. All right. Okay, I look at the talisman. Hmm, is this a dangerous item? Hmm. Hmm. So wait, you take a look, see. Yeah, take a look. See, is this dangerous? Uh, not that you can tell. Um, you want to do an arcana check? Sure, why not? Mm, no, nah, um, sorry, that is an arcana check. No, nah, nothing out of the ordinary. It. It's okay. just a talisman. Okay, just pocket it. Pocket it. All right. So you pocket the talisman. Hmm. So what do you guys want to do now? The zombies are not moving. The one that's been attacked by John doesn't seem to do anything much. You know what? I'm going to revert back to my human form and I'm going to cast bonfire to burn them all. Oh. Ha! There we go. Oh, no, this one is zombie 6? Yeah, I guess. Burn, burn them off. Boom. Alright, so, uh, where do you want to set the bonfire? I'll, I'll set it on zombie 5. Zombie 5. So, yeah, um, it's one square, right? Yeah. So, I, I'll say that's the bonfire, zombie 5. So, zombie 5 burning. I tell you guys, guys, let's finish off the zombies. One, two, fall back up and attack us. Mitch, could you do a history bro? Sorry, um, Mitch. Yep. Do you want me to check on what? History. <laughs> Four? Uh, just what John said just now. 
This reminds you of when the midnight hunters start burning bodies. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, in the same manner, which is kind of strange, but still. All right. So, anywho, um, as you guys, uh, I I don't want to be mean. All right. So, as you guys start burning off the bodies, the area is clean and clear. Oh, sorry, except for the spike. Yes. Tell you guys what. You can try to toss me into the exit, and I can throw you a rope tied to each end so you guys can try to cross, cross it using the rope. One thing, but is the outer table movable? Like the sacrificing table? No, I don't know. You can try to check. Well, but the way all this, I gotta take a shot, guys. <laughs> oh, okay, so... Uh, I shot one. rest. I shot rest. Alright, so as you guys take a look... But, sorry, sorry, but, but the thing is, right, I want to ask, you, ask, ask here that all the Zs are exit, or it's just like... No, there, there was the zombie position. So all the Zs, eh? Yeah. So, so, so there's no other exit uh, except for the, the exit. Yep, yep. Uh, Any label, exit. <laughs> so, we are taking a shot, right? Looks like it. Okay then. <clears throat> so, Sukma D is investigating. Uh, you, what are you doing? Trying to figure out whether the table, the sacrificing table, is mm. actually movable or not. With that net 20, you easily manage to look, see at the table. The table looks, well, really well made, um, made of stone, uh, high quality stone, by the way. Um, uh, perfect for a deity, and you can see that uh, there's grooves in the stone that kind of, um, I won't say collect, but kind of a drainage for all the blood to go somewhere. And that's about it. Like, you, you don't see it being able to move. Can you yeah, guys. move it? Again, guys, you can just throw me in and I'll try, I tighten a certain a rope right here and I'll see other place and you guys can try to cross it with the rope. Oh, okay. wait, 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 wait. Oh, so this exit is, uh, there's actually a hole in the exit or something? Yeah, the spike thingy. Yep. Yeah, there, there's a spike thingy, like, um, uh, was working on it. <laughs> No, I mean, I mean, I mean, it, it's actually a pit, uh, basically. Let's, let's think this as a pit, is it? It's a pit hole with a spike. Yep, a spike, pit right? hole with spikes. Oh, okay, all right, 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 right. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought it was like a wall. Uh, how far, how deep? Uh? Uh, 30 foot down. I mean, how, 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 how... Right, right. Yeah, how far is it from the exit? Uh? What exit? Is it uh, like, is it open? Exit open, yeah. Right. So, so the, the... So it's by 5 feet, right? It's basically a 5 feet. It's a 10, uh, 10 feet wide, 30 feet deep. Yeah, 1 feet across. Oh, five oh it's 5 feet. feet, 5 feet across, right? Yep. Okay. So again, guys, you can just throw me and tie a, a rope at the other end. Okay, Mitch, come on over here. I'm going to show you to the other side. <laughs> so, you going to do that plan? Yep. Okay, so let's just stand here and I first take out her. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay. I first take out the rope just in case I cannot toss it back and hand the other end towards uh, Sukma. So, by the way, I'm just gonna say this the width and the width and uh, wide length of it is uh, 5 by like 10, that. but the depth is. 30. 30 plus 30. Whoa. So the spike starts at 30 below. Alright. Right. So just in case if I fall down, you can just, just catch me by the rope. Yep. So yeah, stop me. Strength Ooh. check, super 22, no. not 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with that, um, 
Sukma is can can easily just throw Mitch way past the hole and just beyond. Beyond the entire way. Yep. By the rope. Yep, yep. So, um, yeah, he, he throws. I'm just gonna say throws about fifteen feet off, way beyond past the safety. So right. now, um, I'm not gonna be mean, but I'm just gonna say that there's trees all over the place. So you can easily tie it to a tree if you want to. Alright, I'll do so. Alright, so you tie your rope to a tree. Now, right? okay. The rope is about 50 feet, so I can. I think it should be enough to yeah. reach. Yeah, uh, so 50, I'll just say that there's 40 length to pull from. Yep. So now you guys can start crossing. lah. Alright. So now what do you guys do? Because right now, uh, Mish ties a rope to one of the trees. And what do you guys do? Make sure to tie the other end. Okay, if I was to jump across, mm -hmm. what what type of skill do I need to do? Electics. Like, Athletics. Sorry, uh, Ooh. acrobatics. Acrobatics. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, guys, you wanna? Okay, I'm gonna hold. Uh, mm -hmm. one end of the the rope, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna ask everybody else to cross over. All right. So you're gonna be the anchor, and everybody, uh, kind of shimmies across. Yes. All right then. So who wants? Yeah, I think like for John, he can easily turn into a spider or something and then cross the cross the group. Yeah, actually, 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 honestly, throughout throughout this this adventure, it was never a problem for me. Yeah. I can just fly out, fly out of the place, but you know what? Okay. Just for, just for <laughs> okay. So, so what what I'm gonna do is like, hey guys, wait, we are, we are going to exit this place, right? Mm -hmm. Let's let's not forget the poor the poor man who who did the cultist cult. Let's let's go and grab him first. All right, so um, as you guys waited for a bit, wouldn't take long. Um, John's friends here, yay! Uh, are we done with short rest? Eh, it's been a while. It's been yeah, a while. still we did. Yeah, we, we had a short rest, so I'm. Oh, we done. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to morph into a giant vulture. Uh, vulture, giant. So giant I'm gonna vulture. guess four four. How how what? It's yeah. a cave system, right? Yep. At level 3, you can turn into that. Hey, can? Can you? Yes, you can, right? It's a CR one. I can. You can. <laughs> he can, you can. Alright, so now you are a giant vulture. Yep, and I just carry them across. Uh. Um, can you um, do a perception <laughs> roll, please? Not sure. I don't think he could fit into the door. <laughs> The the exit is quite small, okay? Normal size. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't I don't have to yeah, I don't have to, you know, just pass through it. It's a giant vulture. Wait, uh, is it, uh let's see how tall big is a giant vulture. Giant vulture size D and D. Yeah, it is a it is a wingspan of about ten feet, but it, its body itself is not that huge. Yeah. Mm hmm Alright, so I'm just gonna remind you that the trap hole is right at the lip of the door. What what am I gonna do is I'm gonna grab you guys with my uh cloth and then I grab you, fly you in front of the the, the door and you guys you know and then you guys can uh, disembark there. You get what I mean? I get what you mean, but I I'm wearing like heavy armor. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. Don't don't worry. The giant vulture has a strength of fifteen, so he's quite strong. All right. What is the height of the cave? Uh, it's pretty high, but there's uh, it's high dome shape, but technically there's no entry point from the sky in this location. You know what? He could uh actually fly off. Uh, to the our starting point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that was always the plan. But you know, you know what? Let's let's just let's just solve this first. Right. Because we have an unconscious guy, so I'm gonna carry 
cautious guy. Uh, wait, yeah, I gotta carry one of you guys first. Okay. To yeah. I, I, to... I don't worry. I can make. I can make the leap. All right. So who's going right, to right. get carried? Yeah, I can jump as well. No problem. Okay. I only have to deal with the roll. So I'm just going to set it up like this. Um, uh, with uh Sukuma holding the rope. Oh no, that's not a rope shape. This is all right, and I'm just going to make it brown just so. That's a rope. All right, for reminders, just a rope. All right. So what now? Hello. Waiting on the other. I'm already outside. Mm. Yeah, just John can take the common guy mm -hmm. like way. I don't mind. All right. Because so, uh, Kamiru, you want to do anything first? You want to jump across? Ah uh, yeah, because rules as written, I can cover nineteen, so it should be no problem, right? Don't have to roll anything, right? Rules written. Uh, where's that? Under what now? Under movement, jumping, long jump. That is action, right? No. Mm, yeah, kind of action, I guess. Yeah, action, I guess. Oh, monks. Oh boy. Nah, this is default actually. Monk, I can double my jump distance if I need to. Give me a second just to double check. Ah, uh, the keyword is long jump or jumping. <clears throat> Alright, so you move towards the hole and uh, it's simple for you, so you'll just pass through. No problem. Yep. Zip. Right now, uh, who's turns next? I'm assuming John? Yeah, yeah. I, I will. I will catch. I will fall. Okay. I will. Huh, I will take the guy in my claw, right. and then I'm gonna fly, fly there to the exit, and then uh, pass it, pass it to Kamiru. Uh, exit so, so the guy can safely, you know, go out lah. Okay. So oh. you flap your wings, trying to maintain the flight, yeah. and Kamiru is gonna grab him. Yeah, I guess so. Alright, uh, could you do a strength check? Oh, sorry, strength roll? It's not safe, uh, just normal roll. Roll d20. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Giant vulture. 11 plus 2. 11 plus 2, alright, no problem. So wait, uh, that's you. Alright, okay, no problem. So, uh, with the action, Kamiru just yeah, managed to grab the guy. No problem. Now, John, what do you do? Well, I'm just flying, fly through, flying through the hole, I guess. You try to fly into the hole, but can't. Really? Yep. Mm, well, as I will try to time it so that such that I will fly. And then as I I'll fly into the hole, then I'll deactivate my form. So just like this. Alright, so as you fly past or fly and try to get speed and distance to get into the hole and demorph, uh, can you please do a... Uh, let's see what would this one be. Uh, acrobatic, yeah. Acrobatic, good. Yeah, do an acrobatic throw. <laughs> Oh, hmm, no problem. As you pass through, as you go above the, uh, what you call this, a uh, spike, you manage to go through normally, no problem. <laughs> now, um, Sukuma, what do you do? You're the last person to get up. <laughs> okay, because everybody's out, mm -hmm. I'm going to use my channel divinity. Mm -hmm. Serious, ah. Yeah. Kau dah lah kuat, kau nak pakai lagi. Zombie banyak tadi tak pakai. 
Uh, uh, peerless athlete where I can double <laughs> my athletic and acrobatic checks. Alright, cool. Okay. Hey, your strength score berapa? Uh, 15. 15. <laughs> but you can cover 15 feet but you tak payah oh. spend any resource pun. <laughs> Just in case that kalau uh, apa, DM nak minta aku roll ke, roll gendah ke, hmm. ni apa. Right. Eh, rules as written, you only roll kalau ada obstacle eh. This is an obstacle. Oh. What obstacle? It's not an obstacle, it's inside the pit. Yeah, if you fall <laughs> down, <laughs> but still there is a rock pool. Yeah, it is not. There is no obstacle. There is no obstacle. There is no obstacle. There is no There is. Have you seen the door? It's not that big. It's only five by... Um, it's like a sink. Oh, langga di langga door, okay. Yeah. <laughs> the pit is an obstacle. Ah. Yeah, that is true. So, so okay. Um, with that, uh, does... Go, Sukma, go. Does um Mitch? Don't worry, uh, the, the 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 rope is there for you to climb up if you fall. Yeah, right. yeah that's true. So athletic, so acrobatic. Um, uh, so give me a second. I want to make sure that we get this done right before that. So, the rope is on the tree. So, uh, Sukma, do you hold on to the rope while jumping, or do you let go? Uh, okay, I'm I'm gonna tie the rope at, at my waist. All right, good. So that's I'm gonna say, thirty f- foot of pull. Okay. Okay. So now, what do you do? Uh, let's just say <laughs> acrobatics for jumping. Okay, I'm gonna run, and I'm gonna do acrobatics. Yep. So it's eleven. So it's considered twenty-two because double. Wait, oh, there we go. 11. Wow. Double the thing? Yeah. Double the score. All right, no problem. You made it through easily. And with that, you managed to, well, kind of solve the mystery. Kind of. Uh, so you guys hit towards the, uh, what you call this? Uh, you guys set up camp in the forest for a bit and just um, rest for the night. Long uh, rest. Okay. Yep. You do a long rest. You uh, tell stories to one another about your adventures and so on. Yep. And, I'm so <laughs> and yeah, um, yeah, you just... Guy, you guys just enjoy the night, um, uh, feeling great about yourself and kind of being the quote unquote new heroes for Daggerford. So, okay. what do you guys want to? Where do you guys want to end? You want to end it here or you want to end it at Daggerford? Let's let's go to Daggerford. Let's head back. No, no. I it's want. Nice if we end it here, mm-hmm. so later on, in case. Something like this happen again, we can continue from here. <laughs> Alright, cool, cool. I don't mind. So, with that, uh, the adventure ends. So, as you guys are talking and whatnot, the uh, commoner, which you guys later on ask, his name is O'Neill, uh, sorry, Oli, and says to you guys, Oh, um, I, I got no idea what happened, um, but I, I, I was sleeping really well so um who, who what is your guy's name what what what, what should we call you we are the morning hunters <laughs> sounds good sounds mm-hmm. good hmm hmm <laughs> <laughs> give me a second hmm uh, mm. so um, anybody else want to try and name stuff? No, no. <laughs> Dawn Hunters. Mm, Dawn Hunters, alright, so... No, afternoon. Afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> that one is midnight, this one is afternoon. Mm, right. High noon. High noon. Alright, so... High um, noon. As you guys talk and discuss on the name, uh, Oli hears the name High Noon and says, Oh, High Noon sounds good. Uh, that that can be that that can uh, work well for you guys. The high noon crew. Yeah. Oh, oh look at high. 
I'll do a smoke, smoke my joint. Hmm. Okay. It's Hydun. <laughs> and with that, the adventure of the Hydun crew begins. Yay! And we end. So, yeah. How do you guys enjoy that? Do you guys have fun? Oh yeah, killing the cleric, killing the copy. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man. Like you guys spoil like even on Beyond it says, Oh no, this encounter is deadly. <laughs> deadly when when you have Combo too type. much worse places before. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, honestly speaking, right, um the way that I controlled the zombies was nerfing them. So uh it was kind of a cheat, but if the zombies move on their own uh, there is where the trouble starts. True. But still, um, technically it's not bad um, for first adventure. Who knows, a uh, second one probably will be uh, more awesome. Who knows? So, yeah. yeah. I think it's fine because, because we still just want, want to see if the crew can work. Uh, yeah. So if it's working so far. Kind of, yeah. I, I, I am very impressed with uh, Sukuma. Like, he is the tank and... Honestly, he doesn't really play like a tank. <laughs> <laughs> like, throughout the whole session, it's like, Oh, John opened the door. Alright, what the hell? I mean, John, John, John doesn't mind. He's like, he's smoking John. He's like, oh man. Oh, no, that's it, it, that, that's doesn't, uh, that doesn't really uh, bother me much. It's just like, oh, John enters room. Suddenly sees enemy. Enemy's like, oh no. And then like, this happens three times. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, but don't forget that when you play Felix, you were like that as well. <sighs> yeah, no, but F Felix was the tank. That's the problem. That's the difference. I know, but Felix ran away from the enemy. Yeah, uh, yeah, but <laughs> a lot of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the same time, too, I did not know how to play a paladin, and boy, the feature, the class feature I had was not great. Uh, play, play paladin. I just might. Yeah, true. But still, a uh, lot to learn. Lot to learn. But anyway. Yeah, Technically, if I want to be an asshole, you know what, what I would do? I would like, oh, we fall down from the hole, walk into a giant vulture and bring around. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. guess it's almost, I it's mean, almost like, like, no, I planned to let for some not. I, um, yeah, I mean, well, mm, <laughs> you know what? No, uh, no comment. <laughs> yeah, for me, I need to really how to learn to segregate my HP because my crimson die, my blood melody. Mm -hmm. All consume my HP. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, no problem then. But uh, I, I think if we do carry on with the adventure, I think next game we'll go for uh, fourth level. We'll level up and uh, HP die roll then. HP die roll is it? But mm -hmm. you already have no, no. Okay. six. Oh, for ah okay. So, so it's if six. it's six, it's uh, average. Ah okay, no problem then. Uh, I'm okay. just gonna share share the giant vulture. This is actually a CR one B beast. Really? Yeah, it's a giant vulture. It's CR one. Giant vulture CR one. I think I can show this. Never mind. Uh, yeah, I'm a class ten hit point. Blah, ten feet walk. Sixty foot fly. Yes, multi attack. This one has multi attack. The wolf doesn't have it. Yeah, but the wolf is, is more special than shell. Because the wolf has the... It, if you actually hit a hit, and if the guy is not dead, he will be not prone. You need to do a test. Not he'll be not. Mm, alright, alright. But yeah, uh, that... That was... That was interesting. That was interesting. Uh, yep, yeah, but still, uh, I mentioned before, that was interesting. And yeah, thank you guys for coming on. Like, uh, if you feel like I did wrong or anything like that. Do tell me so I can improve and whatnot. And yeah, uh, it was a lot of fun. This adventure was not how I was expecting it to go, but it was fun. Yeah, okay, la, very fast pace, not bad. La. Yeah, 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 it's fine. It, it, it's just a oh, short adventure. It's, it's great. True, true. Uh, one shot uh, campaign and whatnot, but still a lot of fun, a lot of fun. All right, uh, with that, I'm going to end the recording. Bye, guys.